right, everyone, we're back with The Good Boys, episode 8, and it's your boys again. Uh, we got Tyler, yeah. and Carlos is back right now. Hello, so hello. Bring him in. We have back. a big, big episode today, and one of the things is we're talking about E3, and who better else to get on this podcast or this episode than Carlos? Yeah. Because we want to have a three-person discussion on yeah, this whole but, video game thing. But, but he's also very, very, very biased. So it's good to have... It's, it's good to have the different opinions. That's what Exactly. I'm that's why I'm and saying he's biased. And it's good. Our weather talk. How are you uh, liking the weather now? It's getting a little bit hot now. Yeah. Not as much as it usually is in... We May. actually went on a hike uh, about you're, midday yesterday. You are fine? It, was it felt fine. fantastic. Really? It, felt it was warm so uh, coming down the mountain, but it was nice outside. It was like almost a little chilly in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Super breezy. But it was like... Where'd you guys go? Santan Valley. That's a nice one. It's easy. It's breezy. No, Santan Valley, not Santan Mountain. Oh, Valley. I've yeah. We went to go to the mountain, but my stepmom put it in the wrong maps. Oh. Yeah, so sucks. was the valley harder? Not at no. All. no. It was basically a walk. Yeah. What's your guys' favorite hike? Flat iron. Flat iron. Yeah. Uh, easy to get to. Flat iron for sure. My favorite hike in Arizona. Yeah. I've done Quartz Peak. Oh, really? See, my favorite one's at Natural Land. I love uh, that's not that's not even a hike. That's it's like a little. A yeah, that's a that's but, a little walk. I feel like I've done that so many times. Oh yeah, it's so out. easy. It's beautiful. Though. Oh, oh yeah, it's it's a it's absolutely. a really cool. I want to go to Soupy Falls. And... Yeah, that's what oh, I, that's, I was literally talking about uh, that last night with him. Uh, have a Soup Falls. That's also another mm-hmm. awesome one. But that's so in Grand Canyon. Yeah. Arizona. I, I still re- have not seen the Grand Canyon. Really? No, and I've been. Oh, you should. Me too. You should go. Um. Yeah, I realized something. Like, the desert is so just boring but, there's beautiful but when you really look into it, it yeah, exactly it is actually really really beautiful you just have to have like, an appreciation when for it come to visit arizona i'm like why are you visiting arizona yeah we're around it though you, it's different like, oh well like i love this there's so much to do and i mean given there really is a lot to do out here there's a lot of fun things i just think people don't invest themselves into some of those things uh, they, like dive into looking I, at it i disagree i feel like arizona there's not a lot to do in Arizona because it's so far spread, I feel like. Um, I want to say that. Maybe there is a lot of stuff. Maybe it's just the layout, maybe, of Arizona mm-hmm. because everything is so far spread. Mm-hmm. Everything is laid out, not stacked on top of each other, like New York, for example. Yeah. Like You have everything that's like walking distance in a that's sense. True. But And they're on a grid, too. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we're on a grid. A beat. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like New York except just spread out in a way. You know what? One thing we can be thankful about Arizona, though, is that the everything's easy to drive like it's easy yeah to drive. Yep. it's not like yep. california where you get on the freeway and you loop around four times well it's not like california where your fucking gps gets confused <laughs> like what do you mean my gps like does it like what GPS, the fuck go straight go straight you turn yeah straight. what you turn straight. like hop onto this and like go south then you want to go north and then back down south it's again just, and then eventually like a, hit like west or talking really fast that's how it sounds in california yeah driving around, so it's pretty beautiful. Yeah. yeah well, that one time we all went up to California. Just being in the backseat gave me so much anxiety. Uh, well, also yeah. driving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. But, That's a good point. But overall, I mean, we'd have it great here in Arizona. Yeah. We really do. But I'm I'm just so sick of living here. I know. Yeah. I, I I won't live I told, here. I decided if you to live in one other state. What would it be? I don't. Uh, state definitely. Seattle or not <laughs> Washington. <laughs> I mean, if money's not an option. No, mon- money's not an option. You oh, New York. New York. See, that's that would be mine too. New York would probably be mine. New York. If it, money was an option, if I could get like a night, not a studio, because I wouldn't oh, want to wow. see. If I could get like not an, even like a crazy ass place, but just a nice apartment. apartment. That's not shit. That's yeah, like, not shit. It's Spider-Man. in a city. Yeah, that apartment he lived in, in the. Tokyo it's Lamar shit. Ones? Like I'm talking about, like yeah. something that's nice, modern, and it was like paid for. It. Absolutely, New York. New York is. I'm. I'm a homebody person. Mm-hmm. You know how much of an introverted person I am. But I do like the busyness and like so many I'm, cultures I'm more there. I'm a city person. Like I feel like Abs- I, I like the city more. As much of a homebody introvert person I am, I like I'm a city person. I love the beach. You? You I love or, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love the city. Um I love the beach. I love right, so. the mountains, but I am when I'm percent like a city person. Like I wouldn't want to well, live see, anywhere that's why else. I, like, I love city and then like the beach is right there. Yeah. yeah. It's like beautiful. Like, um, and I do like getting escapes to the mountains. Like it's very calm and relaxing. Yeah. But I, I don't it's think like, I could live out there. Like I couldn't yeah. live on a farm. Like, yeah. I, I, should I agree. I, I couldn't either. And I want to. too much weird shit has up. Yeah. Farm, true. So. Um, 
Unless it's Cloverfield, then... Shit. <laughs> yeah. That movie's fucking great. It's crazy. Fantastic. But uh, I think what I love about New York, or just, like, busy cities, is just how many, like, stories, like, a city mm-hmm. could tell. Like, there's so many different cultures. Yeah, there's so many that. different people from around the world. Mm-hmm. Especially in New York is a hub it's for, like... melting pot. Oh, yeah. And it's, like, right there, so, like, people come in. Yeah, I mean, it's Ellis Island. That's yeah. where, like, everybody had to come to get into the U.S. Yeah. It was, it's, 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 it's stunning. Yeah. So, definitely New York, for sure. Yeah. And you're in New York as well, or you got... No, I'm in Washington. I'm in Washington. Yeah, I love Washington. the weather there. Yeah. I got it. The only our, reason I would go there is because the Funko HQ is there, <laughs> and they have a... I mean, there's more reasons than that, yeah. but, like, that's, that's kind of a benefit. Yeah. Or Colorado, because psychedelic mushrooms are now decriminalized i think i don't know i think i, it, I think i think it was like going through and it's like more than so i don't know if it went actually state through will eventually like just everything's gonna get legalized eventually not everything not yeah. everything but i don't I mean, want like, I, that type of thing. i mean i think i want to say no but at the same time i wouldn't be surprised if it did because portugal and other parts of the world have don't have it legalized but they have it decriminalized mm. i think it's cool that I mean, psychedelic drugs are becoming somewhat noticed as a health benefit because there is. There's, um, I know one of the health benefits for shrooms or whatever mushrooms. One of the health benefits is actually helping people with addiction. Oh, really? Yeah, like so. If you have, if you're addicted to nicotine, like cigarettes, shrooms is apparently like somehow able to reverse the effect, so you're no longer addicted. Helps with a lot of people with wow. mental stuff like that. That's cool. LSD. I think there's like links to Alzheimer's, like. There's there's a whole, I remember talking about that. Like, yeah, there's a scientists have like been trying to. I mean, a lot of these it was, drugs it was, that people take, someone made or like created to help with something. Well, I mean, well, like DMT isn't created. It's actually your body naturally produces. So when you sleep, DMT's release. Yeah. Um, the acacia, the bush, I think, um, is rich in DMT. Uh, so like, there's certain like psychedelic drugs aren't really made. They're usually found with I I don't want to say if all of them or most of them are found throughout the world just naturally. I was listening to this podcast and there's these guys talking about how they were in high school and how they used to like they were living in like a farm area. So they, they found like this area where mushrooms would grow and they fucking eat them. Like, oh totally. shit. Yeah. So they said like the day before their prom they went in, grabbed all the mushrooms and fucking ate them. Oh, oh god. No. They pretty much were gone. Like for two days straight. Like, yeah. They missed, they missed their prom. And they and then they had to all go to the hospital because they got sick. Oh, they got sick. Yeah. Ate too many. And I'm like, uh, number one, I would not just go to a fucking farm area, pick a bunch of. I don't even know what them. these mushrooms like. They, they could mu- be mush- Yeah, most most mushrooms I believe are like lethal if you eat them. I don't like mushrooms either. Mushrooms are disgusting. I don't yeah. like them on my pizza. I don't so, like, like them. It's weird because sometimes I'll, someone will slip it in in my meal, and I'm like, okay, that was pretty good. But I'll if say I, like, no. So. You know what's weird? Uh, Have you guys ever eaten something and then you don't know what's it made out of, and then you find out and then you don't want to eat it? Cause like no. Just, oh, see, I've had that where like so one time I think oh, it was my grandma. Good. She made this pasta that was really good. Now I didn't know mushrooms were in it. Ate one thing. I'm like, this tastes different. I don't know if I like it or I don't. And I was like, what is it? Mushrooms. Okay, done. And it was weird though, cause then my taste buds like said, no, you don't like that. Not at all. Uh, see, I um. I think it's kind of like a mental thing. Maybe. At a restaurant I used to work at. They had cream of mushroom soup, mm-hmm. and everything there is house made. And I don't like mushrooms, but I was like, you know what? I'll try it. I'll give it a shot because I mean, I'll try anything once. Tried it, and I actually enjoyed it, even though it was made with mushrooms and I hate it. It wasn't bad. Wouldn't tr- eat it. No. Like I wouldn't order a bowl yeah. of it, but it wasn't bad for what I had. What's it. the one like food item that you guys just hate besides mushrooms? Like that you just you don't hate, but you just don't like it. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. What about you? Tilapia. Tilapia. What? I, I can't really? do cooked I fish. I love See, fish. Tuna. I I can't do tuna. Oh, I can eat any fish. Really? No. Yeah. So I I, think I it's love because, fish. Like, when I was younger, I ate fish once, and I like almost threw up because it was bad. <coughs> so like now, oh, like I can mm. have sushi and everything and be completely fine with any sushi. I love sushi. But for some reason, like you put fish on the table, if it ain't fried. Like fish dicks or fish dicks, whatever fish the fuck. Dicks. South fish, the fuck did you fish, you know, remember that dicks. from South Park? Jeez, oh god. Yeah, that's, what I'm saying. that's why I said it like that. Oh. Do you guys not remember that episode? I remember, I remember now. Was? Now that you mentioned it, yeah. Fish dicks in your mouth. <laughs> but See, so, like, like that's the for one. me, like fish, like I don't go 
fuck. As long as it's yellowfin, probably. I love yellowfin. Sashimi, or I don't know. If, I can't remember um, what part, what kind of sushi where it's just raw fish. Mm. Oh my! Oh you guys god, like damn! Like I love calamari. Yeah. I love seafood though. I'm a little bit biased. I love seafood. So you could never be Aquaman because you would kill. Oh my god! People. There'd be no more crab people left. <laughs> Oh my goodness! There literally is a crab. He hasn't seen Aquaman. There literally is a crab person in Aquaman. Oh, that's like right. A yeah, talking crab man. I, I, I'm not surprised. And that's what I'm talking about. That dies motherfucker. Is like the funniest shit in the world. Butter, melted butter. He <laughs> falls into a giant thing of melted butter. Does he melt? I'm pretty sure he melts. Does it get boiled? I, I think I, he does. No, I think he legit. Does it get? Does. Bo- are, think, you, like, bo- yeah. are you serious? Are you serious? Oh yes! Oh my god! I, I, you I'm see su- see, I'm surprised Aquaman didn't eat him afterwards. No, he wasn't in the battle yet. Uh, he came in later though and became a badass. He maybe was riding like a giant fucking lobster. Maybe afterwards that he's like, you know, what? I'm gonna munch on this dude. Was, was it? It was a giant. Ju- well, it was I a think woman it was. lobster. It was, it was like a, it was like a lobster mixed with an octopus. I mean, I actually like lobster more than crabs. So I mean, yeah, honestly, bo- I both are going down. Oh my god, lobster tail. Oh fucking lobster. no so fucking like way. Crab, no fucking way. way. Get you real. You like lobster more than crab? Absolutely. You like lobster more than crab? Oh man, I, I like. No, crab. you're both. No way. But I will say, I like. I think lobster is more like like eating a crab is like fucking eating ribs. You're like fucking. Yeah, like you're. Caveman you, yeah. Crabs. Yeah, I would say it's like lobster, this. Lobster, you can like actually eat it. Normally. Yeah, I want to say if you're, if the tail's already split, it's like the difference between eating ribs and a steak. Yeah. yeah. One's versus like super nice, like it's just super. In my opinion, mm-hmm. super good. It like melts in your mouth. One, you're just digging in, like you said. Yeah. Ribs. Ooh. Damn it. Damn. Uh, yeah, definitely lobster for sure. I totally feel. Um, so moving on, though, we do have a, Mar- a Captain Marvel giveaway going on. Same thing. Hashtag Captain Marvel. Tag me on Twitter. You'll get put into the drawing. And we also have to... I, I keep forgetting to give a shout-out to Sandwich on Films because they're the ones that sent us these mics. Shout-out to Sandwich, oh, Sandwich on, on Films. Yeah, Sandwich on Films. You guys can get advanced movie screens over there. So you guys wonder how I see films early? This is how it started. So go check them out. Um, so I, I came up with this new thing where we're going to talk about what everyone's been up to. It's kind of what Zach's been up to, what Tyler's been up to, what Carlos has been up to. What have I been up to? Yeah, what have you been up well, to? Well, I played Rage 2. I beat it within six, seven hours. Ugh. I'm mad. Yeah. $60. I'm thinking, I'm thinking RPG, the first one was pretty damn long. See, here's your problem. And you just go into a lot of games. I want to give it a fair shot. Hey, for sure. He's got to get, you got to get... For it's better than just listening to someone else's word. Just get to the hey, experience. If I would listen, I but, wouldn't have liked Days Gone. I would have never have gotten Days Gone. There we go. But that's for you to decide. Yeah. So now I'm deciding. For me, I like to wait for reviews. I like to see what people are talking about. I like to get to... Reviews weren't even bad for Rage 2. They were good. Yeah, they were They, they were, were pretty good. solid. But they, did they mention anything of like... The length? No. The length? No. That, I think oh. that comes down to reviewers. The fact that they do... That is like, coming down to like reviewers. That's like when I look at the order... Um, that that game, every review, it's like four hours. Yeah. Why didn't Rage mention that at all? I don't know. That's a, that's like another big thing of me and video games and the reason why I don't play them as much. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck you guys if I have to spend $60 and I don't get like a, a fill. Worth, yeah. yeah, because after that point, it's not like you can go back to Walmart or wherever I got and get my it. $60 back. Well, I mean, maybe Walmart. Yeah, if you're going to be that person which i don't want to be no, that person i don't know if anybody else wants it. if no. you want to fucking go for it it's your 60 dollars. get your money back yeah. but i'm just not that person fuck like i would be i'd be furious i'd be well, so I mad I beat it. i'm like that's it yeah what the that's fuck? why i'm like i that's why it's hard for me now like, here's the thing it's not a bad to game invest it's, a good, it's a very well-made game it's the story is interesting the world's interesting it's fun look like, i guarantee you it is it looks like a shit ton of fun mm-hmm. But if I'm not playing it to its fullest, like my sixty dollars worth, mm-hmm. fuck, yeah. <laughs> I'm out sixty dollars. God damn it! Yeah, I, I totally agree. <laughs> and you know what's better? Mm-hmm. What I've heard, Far Cry, which is a way better. Like you have way more content. Yeah, and it's forty dollars. I think you, I think you got to start categorizing no, no, not, games before you buy them, like I do. You got to start looking at well, how bad do I want it? Do I want it enough to wait for it to go on sale? Well, that's how I am. I was like, I really want to play this game. I really like the I want it. One. I want yeah, it too. I, me, but I'm going to wait till it goes on no. sale. Yeah, you me too. Wait till it goes you on should. Sale. You fucking should. You know, you guys shouldn't wait till it goes on sale and you guys don't have PlayStation anymore. Day's gone. Oh my God. I'm not playing it. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. Pause. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm catching shit. up on. Uh, you have to do shit right now. Really bad. So oh I'm edit this boy. Thing, and I got a shit. Few moments later. And we're back. Sorry for the interruption. I'm yeah. going back on. Hi, wait, wait. What? How's your shit? Oh, dude, it, <laughs> dude, it was a lot. <laughs> it's that damn burger. It just went straight to my stomach. It said, fuck you. Everything's Jeez. coming out. Jeez. But it was a great burger. I was like, I won't that. But what else have I been up to other than almost shitting my pants on air? <laughs> this is the second time it's almost happened during a podcast. Jeez. So the last one was actually live. Oh. That was bad. Oof. Um, The other thing I did was I got the DC streaming service, which we talked about streaming services like, what, the third episode in? Maybe, so roughly. And some... we talked about DC. Um, uh, maybe fourth. It's $7.99. And I really wanted to check out Swamp Thing this week. So I said, you know what? It's a free trial right now. I might as well try it. Why not? I love it. It's a really unique D like streaming service. You get every comic ever from DC. Every comic. Plus almost all the DC shows. They have Teen Titans on there. The original it, okay. Teen Titans. Oh. oh, Static Shock, Batman Beyond, Batman Anime Series... Any DC service that you watch or show that you watch as a kid is there. Justice League, all of them, Ooh. and plus the new ones. I would love to, which is the, the new Teen Justice Titans League. show, which I have not watched, but I started watching Doom Patrol. How is it? Excellent. It's like if Guardians of the Galaxy was rated R. Wow. And it is batshit crazy. And it's funny because one of the characters breaks the fourth wall. It's a narrator, so he's narrating. And there's a part in the first episode where a donkey farts, which is weird. I just pooped and. Now we're talking about farts. He shoots out a black hole out of his ass <laughs> and starts destroying a town. And, then, uh, and it cuts to the second episode. And the narrator is like, oh, you're still here? What? We have 100% on Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> oh, God. People actually liked it. I thought most people cut out after the donkey shit. <laughs> and it, it's just very clever. It's on the nose. And Brendan Fraser, remember him from The Mummy? Yeah. He plays Robot Man. This show's oh. weird. It's emotional. It's heartwarming, but it's super funny, and it's gory as hell. Ooh. Like, him as Robert Man, he takes a guy and just smashes his head <laughs> against the wall repeatedly. Yo, let's go. There's let's a girl go. called Crazy Jane who has 64 different personalities who randomly come out, and they each have different superpowers. Yo, so funny. one, every time she talks, it spits out metal, and her words come out. So she's killing a bunch of Nazis and goes, you Nazi fucks, and they turn the blades, and she just throws them at them. Whoa. It's I, okay. very clever. I'm I gotta, loving I gotta the show. See this. It's I gotta super see this. cool. And then Swamp Thing's at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. Because the first two episodes got released to some of the critics. And it's really getting a lot of love. So I'm, I'm curious now. This streaming All service... Right, you got my I mean, I'm not going to say, like, if you... If the shows were ass, not worth it. But it has my money for each week now. It's $8.99, where I can go back and revisit some of my older favorite shows. $8.99 a week? Eight ninety nine I was gonna say I was like, wait, what? Yeah, but it does, like, it fuck does, that. But it does have my money, and I do really like that. So I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. I mean, it's cool that you're into it, but in the grand scheme of things, how does it compare to everything else? Oh no, not even close. See, that's like the part where it's like the fact that Disney streaming service is cheaper is crazy. But I mean, it's Disney. It's cheaper. Yeah. I j that's like the point where I'm like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, how does it stack up to everything? Is it really worth the extra money of... Eh, maybe not in the long run, but yeah. I want I want to review all the Swamp Thing episodes, so it kind of yeah. kind of points out to it. Yeah, you're going to have to let me, or on the podcast at least, yeah, yeah, say what you think about it. But Tyler, what have you been up to? Shit. Nothing. Work. Mm. Uh, school. Um, for those of you that don't know me. Uh, personally, I'm in the medical field um, as a PA for Applied Biology Sciences. I am not a smart person. Um, yeah. No, I don't, but even, I'm not a smart person by any shape or form. I just say I have a little bit of determination that I don't want to live on the streets for the rest That's of my life. That's how most people are. That's how you determine who lives in the streets, who works in fast food for the rest of their life, and who does that. Yeah. But it's also like kind of like a... Um, Battle of the fittest. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel you. I, I just, I, I just don't. I want to have nice things. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, working and I guess like the book I'm reading right now is uh called The Gentleman in Moscow. Yeah, you mentioned this to me. Yeah, it's um about a guy that gets 
basically detained inside of a, his hotel for the rest of his life in uh, Moscow, Russia. And it's not during a time where it's like peril. Um, it, I believe it takes place in like the nine. Nine, like 1910, 1913, like really, really late uh, or early 1900s, and just kind of goes through like all the instances he meets with all these different people yeah, throughout yeah. the house or the hotel, and it kind of opened my eyes. So like one, like hotels in general are actually really neat because like imagine if the hotel could talk like so many things, like so many secrets, so many things have happened inside of hotels. Well, it's like a Jerome Hotel in Arizona. The one exactly. It used to be what a Rehab center, yeah, like that, like yeah. An asylum. yeah, but just like hotels, so like that book kind of like made me realize how cool hotels kind of mm-hmm. can well, be. How different they are. Like, do you guys remember the, we have so many walks of life there? I don't know what the in the hotel. hotel's called, but did you hear about the movie Hotel Mumbai this year? Mm. It's about the it's like a bunch of terrorists attacked it and killed a bunch of people, but there's a lot of cool stories to it where like the staff stayed and tried to help people. And like, like I mean, they had a way out, and they stayed to help people, which is cool. Like, and the the hotel has a bunch of hidden doors and like clubs and stuff, yeah. so they can hide people within it. And it's just unique because like again, it goes to that like, you really think about it. Like when you go to a hotel room, have you guys ever thought like who else is staying in this room? Oh yeah, all the time. Way, well, that's like, why I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. Fight? Well, like just like when you I don't like know about that. like the next. Less I know, the better. <laughs> exactly, but like next time, like. Showers are four. Like, just think about, like, a hotel, like, you've been to, like, anytime you've traveled, like, think about, like, how, like, many walks of life have came in, mm-hmm. not just inside of, like, hotel room, but just the hotel, in, hotel general. in general. Like, how many, like, relationships, like, what how the... Many stories. Yeah, like, exactly. Divorce, Why are you there? Marriage, fall in love, propose, like, exactly. all Exactly. You may be meeting there. someone for the first time. There's so many stories like hotel. hotel stories? Um, I, I, except for that one time when it was George's birthday in the um, hotel. Oh, jeez. And George got what? Like five lap dances yeah. at once? Yeah. From us? <laughs> Not from a girl, from us. <laughs> Every one of us. I want, I want to explicitly say that. <laughs> Not a girl, us. <laughs> and it's great because then he walked outside and instead of waiting to use the restroom, peed on a tree. Do you remember the manager looked at him? You know there's a bathroom. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, God. Oh, God. First thing he does, piss off the manager. Yeah, like we were... Literally, we were piss leaving. off the manager. We got there, got in... Really early. Yeah, I believe before 11 o'clock, which... Yeah, because we got up at, what, 3 and left? Yeah, we got up at, like, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. That was a fun trip. That was a fun drive there. Yeah, honestly, I could do that shit with no problem Same. now. I could be like, you want me to drive? Fucking cool, I got... Do this shit all day long, waking up at two thirty, two thirty in the morning though, for work. Was how it was cool, how dark it was, and just like the our lights, we were literally the only ones on the road. It was, I like, uh, yeah, like the ambiance of three a.m. just cruising down the sausage highway, fest in the car. <laughs> sausage fest, <laughs> listening to good ass music. But we were, I think we were listening to a lot well, of Kid Cudi, yeah. K. Cuddy for sure. And then, um, Kanye was on there. No, no, what's the song? Uh, Mike Tyson sings it. In, like, oh, uh, Phil Collins. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. tonight. Yes. Fucking great. It's a great that song. Was that was I would love to see Phil Collins play drums yeah, live for that. Yeah. Him just hitting yeah, the drums with that, that breakdown. <laughs> just full on, just <laughs> going in. Oh, God, it'd be amazing. That's one of the best songs ever created. Honestly, top ten. Beat the melody, everything. It's it, almost perfect. It, it, yeah, it like hit. It's yeah, it's it like the way it's the crazy, drums come in. Man. Oh, it's so. Oh, funny. Marvin Gaye. We also oh. listened to some Marvin Gaye on the way there. Oh yeah, but that's essential. You have to sexual healing, man. Oh, I, I listen to Marvin Gaye every day. Every morning. Every morning. What's Start your day off. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a hotel story. I forgot. Oh. So, one time I was dating this girl in high school, and she wanted to go to Disneyland. So I was like, oh, we're like, we'll go. So her mom, like, bought the hotel and everything. Like, we all went. Like, I went with her family. Well, like, the ho- the key wasn't working. So the mom was like, I'll go down to the lobby and get a new one. So we were there. It was me and her and her little sister. All of a sudden, this lady starts screaming. And I don't mean, like, bloody murder screaming. I mean, she was getting fucked. 
Wow. Really loud. Like, Jesus she was next Christ. Door. And the little girl was like, what's that sound? Is she okay? And oh, wow. Like, oh, my God. Like, and she's like, go. Like, th- this man is moaning loud, too. Like, loud. <laughs> and, dude, it wasn't even like the walls were thin. Like, this was a nice hotel. No, they were just overly being loud. Oh, my. The second the mom came back up, they stopped. <laughs> And I wasn't in the Snapchat and all that at this time. I wasn't doing YouTube, so it's not like I was going to fucking record it. I was just trying so hard not to fucking laugh. Jeez. I would have lost my goddamn mind. What a I would fucking not have been awkward able to ass. But, yeah. Pretty crazy. Like, if you're going to have sex in a hotel... Have some decency. Some decency. Understand you are not the only ones there. Yeah, a little more discreet. Just a little if more. If you guys hosted an Airbnb, like, and you had, like, a guest premise on the house, and you heard someone fucking, what would you do? Like, would you send them a message, or would you just, like, let them do it? Yo, keep it down. Don't let headphones bounce. That's it. Yeah. Yeah? Probably. I'm staying in my house. You're going to respect my rules. True. Yeah, I feel, I feel. Or you're just going to pay, like, like, a, a little bit. Or I'm just going to put in, like, my Airbnb info, like, we'll charge extra if I hear you fucking. Like, yeah, get, like you can fuck in the house. I don't give a shit. Just don't, it, like, don't let me hear it. Simple as that. Have the decency. Well, the ones, the, I'm going to San Diego Comic Con. The Airbnb I got. It's funny because in it, the rules are like you you cannot bring a guest over without my permission. Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. So, so I messaged him. I was like, well, hey, like just heads up, like my cousin might come down and visit me. Like he's not gonna stay with me. He's just gonna like come in with my stuff and like like hi and like whatnot. And then we're yeah. gonna leave. She's like, that's fine. Just like as long as he doesn't stay overnight, because we've had people who have one night stands during Comic Con. It's really annoying to hear him fucking. Oh. And I'm like, okay then, cool. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I just won't come home. See my th- yeah, no kidding. I wonder how there. how good is it? You can rate your price on your Bambi, right? Yeah. So they rate you, and you have to rate them. Ah. Uh. So like uh, the one I did in Texas. They rated me really good, but they hated all my guest members. It wasn't even his fault. He's Canadian. He's the nicest man in the world. He's like, everyone was, Zach was super nice. His friend Michael, not so much. Oh, why? Just, be- just because he got in late on his flight uh, and we weren't home. And so he like walked in the wrong door and they were there. And he was uh, like, hello? Oh, and it shit. was so awkward. Was oh, awkward. God. She was so pissed. I was like, okay, well, maybe lock your door or maybe have a sign. This is our room. Don't enter. Right. So, yeah. whatever. You know how it goes. But, Carlos, what's new with you? Uh, I'm getting back into Rainbow Six Siege. Mm, that's a good game. We are in, what, year four, season two now? Two new operators are getting added. It's kind of bullshit what they're adding in, but... Did you say lots of zombie mode? Yeah, that's gone. That was uh, just an event for... See, that's like, dumb. I'm surprised they didn't keep it. It was really cool. I actually... Yeah, I really enjoyed it, honestly. Yeah, I guess that's somewhat new with me. He... Got me into Rainbow Six Siege. I'm like slow. I'm, try- I'm trying to get people in back into Should it. It's fun. It? It's a it? good game. Should I go sell it and get it for the Xbox? Dude. I mean, only absolutely. if you want to play. I, I love the game. You know what we I need more do? people for us. I should take my PlayStation copy, go to Walmart, and said my grandma got me the wrong one. Can I just exchange it for the Xbox version? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, do you think they'll give me it? I'll argue a little bit. No, just be like my grandma threw away. She didn't give me good for see. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's cool. You're playing that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. People on the <laughs> listening is like, God damn it, what the fuck? What are and, they uh, doing? Any of you guys on Switch? Duck Game is now available on Switch. What the fuck is Duck Game? Duck Game. You can either do it couch co-op or online, and you play as ducks. It's an adult swim game. So it's you know it's you know it's got some quality behind it. Okay. You play as ducks. You pick up random guns and you shoot each other. That's it. That's it. I dig it. Different guns, different bullets, different ways to kill each other. I fun stuff. Dig the shit out of it. Well, we do have some news though going in. Um, some big news topics, and the biggest thing is, uh, Infamous has turned ten years old this week. I feel old as shit. Doesn't that? Uh, what's your guys' favorite Infamous game? I think two is still my favorite. I fucking love the third one. Second son. Oh uh, yeah, second son. Cool. Second son was so cool. It was pretty. Uh-huh, yeah. That's yeah, the graphics look so good. In the third one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like four K remaster of that. I like all the crazy shit you could do in the second one, but I like the third one. I, I, I if you could, if they just remat yeah if they just remat if they took the graphics so do all four do all if, four of them if they took the yeah, graphics they that vampire spinoff too yeah. if they um took the engine and the graphics mm-hmm. or whatever from the third one and put it into the second one 
second one. I mean, they have to be making something right now. They, their they're, last yeah. one was Second Son, wasn't it? No, they're making that uh, ninja game. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, Ghost? The Ghost of... I forgot about that. Yeah. I think... It's yeah, like yeah it's like Ghost of... To- something started cool. the T. It looks cool. I'm all for it. Yeah, I want to be a badass samurai that just lobs people's heads off. Yeah, why not? Um, but yeah, so it turns 10 years old and they released some like cool facts about it, like some cool builds. And the one that really stuck out to me was like, originally you were going to be a skateboarder with these powers. That's pretty neat. And it's, it's different. And they were also going to have like where you could customize like buildings, like hideouts that you have, but they just never got to it. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that, but I think the skateboarding aspect would have been cool. But I, I just missed the series. Like I actually hope they bring it back eventually. Um, yeah, because there's, a, there's so many, like the... You realize like there's a so many different more powers than just electricity. Mm-hmm. Like it's basically the just light an, one. The yeah. Speed girl was really cool. Yeah, the neon. neon. I, I never beat her spinoff game. Yeah, but I thought it was I did. Really the neon was really cool. Um, but yeah, like the powers are like there's a plethora of them. It'd be really cool to where mm-hmm. you're just like. And Cole McGrath was a really cool character. Do you guys yeah. remember when they originally announced the second one? Cole had hair, and people like flipped out. No. <laughs> so they delayed the game like two months because they went back through and got rid of his hair. Jesus. Oh, really? People were pissed. Well, yeah. If you're gonna keep having like be pretty much like bald mm-hmm. or like buzz kind, then you're just and gonna give like, him hair. What the? Hair. Why, why the hell? I just remember my favorite Easter egg in that game is that his backpack has a Sly Cooper icon on it. Yeah, yeah. because it's made from Sucker Punch, right? Yeah. Sucker Punch. Yeah. Sly, Sly Cooper was so. You could get the cane in the second one, right? Yeah. yeah if you yeah, pre-ordered, yeah. you could yeah. get the cane. So coolest shit ever. Right. That's the coolest shit ever. Side Cooper is an underappreciated game series. A lot of those older games are underappreciated. Yeah. And was... I'm surprised this generation hasn't brought a lot of them back. Like, you know, Banjo. Well, no. well, Side Cooper because... got the remasters, though. That's, it's, what's unfortunate like, is they got their remasters the last PS3, generation. Yeah. It's because it's... Because video games suck right now. Everybody wants a... Battle Royale. Yeah. You can't that, do a Battle Royale with true. Sly Cooper. You actually could. I feel like... Wait, 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 yeah, wait, but wait, then you just wait, be fading like into that, it. I feel like that's dying down, though. We haven't heard a new Battle Royale in a hot minute. The last one was Apex. Yeah, yeah, yeah because it's... Out. Yeah, yeah E3's I don't coming think there's going to be many Battle Royales getting announced. Uh, I think certain games... I think it's very oversaturated. Well, we're going to talk about that a little bit, all right? We're going to go into that a little bit. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. So moving on to the next news topic, it's Deadpool in the MCU. So there came a huge rumor with how they're going to integrate him into the MCU. I don't agree with any of these rumors, to be honest. Um, some of them are actually coming from very reputable sources. So I want to lay out the three rumors to you guys. What, How they're going to integrate him into the MCU. And then I want to tell you guys how I think they should do it. Because I love Deadpool. So, number one, the, so these three ideas is one, they're just going to do another standalone Deadpool 3 and just explain it in there. Um, I mean, Spider-Man introducing the multiverse, I'm pretty sure that's just... Yeah, he breaks the fourth wall all the time. Yeah, so I mean, we'll get to it. The second one is a Disney Plus or Hulu series, a six a six hour thing with Deadpool and how he gets into the Marvel Universe. Ooh. I kind of like that. I like that one better. But I would rather just have a movie. You think but so? I, if they do a show, I don't want it on Disney streaming service unless you're doing it R-rated. I agree. It has to be so. Like for it to work is for it to work as a show. If it's him by himself, it has to be R-rated. Yeah. It yeah. can't. If you're if he's showing up in someone else's movie, fine. You want to do PG thirteen? That's fine. Yeah. I don't care. But if it's just him, yeah. You, it has to be R-rated. Has to be R-rated and. I'd be down for like a six part hour long episode. Explaining how he's going. Yeah, the because it'd be fucking hilarious. It Absolutely. would be. The, the last one was that the next Spider Man film, Spider Man 3, will have Deadpool in it. Which goes back to. Mm. But I don't, I don't want that. I want Spider Man by himself. Like, I think the second one, the first one was about him and Iron Man. Second one looks to be having Nick Fury, having a couple more things. I think the third one should just be by himself, personally. That, that, I think that's how it is. I, I He's agree. definitively become Spider Man. At that point, he'll probably be a senior in high school or going into college. He but, won't. But it won't. He's part of the MCU now. But here's the thing. Well, no, no, no. He is. But I'm just thinking about, like, it's fine to have him name drop, like how Thor has name drops and stuff. But, like, you don't see Captain America showing up in every Iron Man. Oh, gotcha. You know what I mean? Like, you don't see, name gotcha. dropping, I just don't want them to be a, an integral part of it. I want it to be, like. He's off doing his own shit, yeah. like, how every mm-hmm. like, but then superhero some more is. Rumors came out. That Sony, that they don't want Deadpool 
Sony does not want Deadpool in the next Spider-Man film. They want Venom in the next Spider-Man film. Oh, which that's a be? whole completely different thing, which again, the multiverse secondary yeah. film, like, that's how you're going to bring Tom Hardy's Venom in. I'm fine with that, I, but personally, I think the next Spider-Man should just be about the Sinister Six. I think they should set that completely up, do that, and then anything after that, I would rather actually, them if they're going to do a Deadpool show or a movie, why not just put Spider-Man in that? That yeah. way he can play around in that world and can be R-rated. I'm not saying Spider-Man means swinging around cussing, yeah. but it, to play off Deadpool, I think that would work. Because Tom yeah. Holland, can, can you imagine Ryan Reynolds and oh, Tom Holland? God. Yeah, it would be hilarious. So it would be really cool. But So this is how I... There's two ways that I think they should... Three ways. I like the show idea, but I would rather them not think about it that hard. It's fucking Deadpool. He's never shown up in an X-Men film before. So it's not that hard to just say he's already in the MCU. Done. Like, yeah. and just us accept it. But that's also, I mean, you're feeding into like some people saying that like, yeah, it does, it, it can, it's okay for it to be rush. I don't want shit to be rush. No. I want the next Deadpool. It has to be as good as the first two. Exactly. I, mean, I, I didn't even like the second one that much. I thought it was fine. I thought it was good. Yeah. The first one I think is awesome. So another one is I think Spider Man's end credit scene should just be Deadpool. I agree. I, I think they should do two: one Sinister Six, one Deadpool. And Deadpool could just be him easily just dropping into the world like through a fucking multiverse portal and him being like, what the? And then it bleeps out and cuts out there. Then we get him somehow intrigued throughout the whole fucking universe. Introduced. (laughs) Introduced, yeah. Yeah, I can't fucking talk. The shit in me is like just doubling up. It's damn coffee too. Just the burger. It was free, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I appreciate it. It's just like poop everywhere. God. (laughs) But I will... Poop everywhere. (laughs) But so the I, I like like those are the two ways I really want it. The third way is there's a comic called Deadpool versus the Marvel Universe. Why not just do a Deadpool three versus the Marvel Universe where you have I mean he could play around with it. Robert Downey Jr. coming in as Iron Man again. Not saying he's alive, but I'm just oh yeah, it's like a small I think cameo a maybe. Lot of cool aspects that you could do to it. They could again, do it as an other world story. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Or in general, just keep him separated. I don't personally need him in the universe. Like, I'm not dying for... I just want another I, Deadpool film. I just want... I, I like... I, there's just so much more... There's so much potential with Deadpool. Mm-hmm. There is. I'm I so just, sad. I hope they use it and they don't waste it. Like, I, yeah. I don't care what I'm they do as long as it's good. Radar. That's the only yeah. thing. I'm very ke- happy that Disney said, we like him how he is. We're going to keep him doing it. And Disney's right in that because it's making them money. That's, yeah. that's the business plan. Okay, rated R films like Deadpool are making us money keep making rated r films with deadpool and like i said he will be eventually in this universe that that's that it, it would be dumb it's money making i just think a dead i think deadpool 3 it would be smart to bring spider-man into that world or a different hero into that world four fat four in deadpool <laughs> that'd be pretty funny rocket raccoon in deadpool there are so many different combinations of characters that you could put into a Deadpool 3 to get him easily introduced. Because personally, I think he's the only character coming. I don't think Domino will be in it. I don't think Cable will be in it. I, I think their characters are done. Which sucks, and I could be completely wrong, but I think that's... I think they're really just focusing on bringing Ryan Reynolds in. Because I think they should bring Cable, and they should bring Domino. Yeah. And Vanessa. Could... And Vanessa. Vanessa has to be there. That is his, like, story arc. If you don't have Vanessa... I'd be pissed. Yeah. I'm very standalone mm-hmm. or standoffish from this kind of topic because I love Deadpool mm-hmm. because it's like exactly what I'm like I want. Like they should have did Venom rated R. Yeah. But I mean it was good as was. It was good, it just could have been better. Yeah. yeah. Point exactly. I just, like I'm not going to like say anything about it. I know what I want. I would mm-hmm. like them to keep him rated R, but they've already done a PG-13 mm-hmm. version of the Deadpool. That's where it like starts to worry me. Like oh, the Christmas version. Yeah, okay, like so for I me. Okay, I saw that and I'll say that it wasn't bad. The I'm, I'm it sure it wasn't the bad. It wasn't great though. It was because it was literally just Deadpool 2 and I've already seen Deadpool 2 rated R. So Exactly. Like why are you like don't like don't watch the, like I understand like you need to have like Kids are gonna mm-hmm. are curious about like kids well, have curiosity. That was that they want to see it. To China, because China's never had Deadpool before. Oh they really? Don't allow rated R films. Oh. So a lot of that was to just get it into China. That was literally why they did oh. that. I didn't know that. I mean, in a way, for I mean, 
nonetheless, it's a way to get a demographic. I think it's unfortunate that China can't have rated R movies. Mm-hmm. I think they can't have ghost films either. That's so strange. Like a uh, Spirited Away, you know that anime film? Yeah. yeah. Just premiered there. Wow. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. That's ever. why I didn't understand that. That's crazy. That's so because wild. they went back through and like re-edited it so it wasn't like ghost. Huh? huh. Isn't that crazy? Like it's a, it's just like a culture. Aren't allowed there. Like there was rumors that this new Ghostbuster film they're filming for next year is gonna be called Demon Hunters, so they could get it in there. That's so strange. Damn. But it's not true. I it's mean, it's, it's a true. it's all of like the culture thing. But point being, I'm sure that Disney ha- does certain things. Like example, for that reason. They do it for the better of the good, mm-hmm. but at the same time, as long as they just, if, as long as it's good, as long as they do what the majority of the people want, good Deadpool movie where it's just funny, it's not a lot of thinking, they're just yeah. funny and entertainment. I think you gotta it's... also bring back the writers. The same writers have to do this one. Yeah. I mean, they've done Zombieland, and they've done all the Deadpool films. It, like, so. it's, it sucks when you establish a franchise like Deadpool, for example, or just a perfect example, exactly. You have already two films by the same people. It looks distinctly... like a, It's shot a certain way. It looks like a well, certain way. Imagine what is going to happen if you get a new writer... It's gonna look That's obviously why you different. Gotta keep the same team. That's why I don't consistency think I is key too, because the director was different. Yeah, now, I understand Ryan and him. There's altercations. But yeah, obviously, who are you gonna keep? Ryan Reynolds or the director? Yeah, for sure. You fucking keep Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, and I still th- again, I still think Deadpool two is a good movie. Yeah, it's just I think the first one's perfect. I think the first one was the I think best version of it. I don't know how yeah. you guys feel about Deadpool two. I, I, mean, I like I like Deadpool one more than two. I, I just the thing about Deadpool one, Deadpool two furthered out there that world more. Yeah. Deadpool one, that romance, is perfect. Well, it's just like all this. Like I feel like Deadpool one, the jokes came a little bit more well, natural. And they also they took like six years writing that script. Deadpool two, they only took like a year and a half. So there's a big difference. I mean, given they had more time with Deadpool, but right now I'm just curious. I'm sure they haven't even started writing Deadpool three because they're probably like we don't yeah and i think they even mentioned that because they were supposed to do an export so that technically the original plan was before disney the whole fox thing happened the original plan was no matter what whoever bought fox they were gonna have to change this because no matter what those superheroes are going back to disney no matter what because so say warner brothers bought fox they can't keep marvel heroes it would have just gone back to disney no matter what so which i actually glad they bought fox for this reason because now we have this the thing is is i think one I just went retarded. I I just forgot what I was going to talk about. Like I, <laughs> uh, Zach had a brain fart, I'm so apparently fart. his head is having diarrhea and pretty much your literally your whole body is just in a big old poo poo. A big poo poo. A big old, big old poo poo. Better to have it than tonight at the screening. You know, yeah, true. Have you guys ever had a poop during a movie? Like, mm. really bad. No. Maybe one time. No, no, never. Pee, yes, because peas will just like creep. I, I was, I was peas will creep on you, at Endgame, really. like at any Endgame, moment. I was literally like See, the I last fifteen, the it. last fifteen fucking minutes, dude. I pissed right before I sat down. In the last fifteen minutes, dude. You're sitting there with awful. I was in. Hey. So, um, so I was like, nope, fuck the it. The only two times that I've had to go super bad was one was during Ready Player One, but I already seen it, so I took my grandma to see it. In the middle of it, I'm like. Oh, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. But, and it's during the action scene. So obviously I don't want to get up. Yeah. Oh, God, this is so entertaining. But I have to shit so fucking bad right now. All of a sudden I was like, Grandma, I gotta go. And I just <laughs> ran. Came back in, everything was over. Oh. The second time was I took my sister to see Mary Poppins. The new one. And I mean, it's not a long movie. Yeah. But like, I just, I hadn't gone to the bathroom all day. So I'm sitting there in the screening and I'm like, you know how your leg starts going? Mm-hmm. I gotta yeah. And it and the last musical number comes up. I know it's the last musical number. Because I'll notice like when the screen you're about to get up to leave. I'm like, okay, there's like ten minutes left. It just kept going on. It felt forever. <laughs> the, the song felt forever. There's a whole part where they're like, ah, and they just kept going. I'm like, stop, stop, just end the fucking movie. I have shit so bad. <laughs> you should just done. went. I don't it was almost over. Fuck the endings. Fuck it. Fuck the very end. I liked it though. <laughs> Sorry. I finished it and then I ran. See, my my discomfort in that no. Me relieving myself beats everything. 
Really? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, we played zombies and you've gotten str- I remember there was a match where we were playing zombies, like, round 36. You're like, I gotta go. You just ran. Yeah. <laughs> like, start, like, I'm, no. I, it's pain. It is. This shit hurts. It is. I am, like, it, it's not like a pain where it's like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to tough this. No. Mm-hmm. I know exactly well, how to get rid of it immediately. Like, I will give shit to someone for, like, pooping, like, in the middle or peeing, needing to pee, but I'll totally understand it. Like, I don't care if you guys give me shit for having to poop during this podcast. But we've all been there. Like, if you had to go shit right now, all right, go. I'm still giving you shit. No, that's fine. <laughs> because you're the one that's also like before. It's like, all right, make sure everybody know, else takes a shit. That. You're getting shit for it. that. Well, I thought about it because that's why I asked. Because I'm like, my stomach says it needs to shit, but it doesn't need to go that bad. The middle of us filming, I'm like, fuck, fuck, I really have to go. Holy shit. <laughs> so, but yeah, so Deadpool in the MCU. Let's end the news conference. Any other thoughts for me? Like, how would you want him in there? I'm a, I like I was 100 percent right behind you with the uh, just having him as an end credit scene. Yeah, I, Sinister Six would be a nice setup, but I'm not relying on it. Just because I would rather I don't know. do the third film, set him up in there, and then what? Then do a Sinister Six versus Spider Man film. Yeah, like I would love to see Sinister Six, but I don't know how how well it's gonna be. But I mean, well, it's gonna uh, Sinister Six will be good. It'll be good. None. Well, the cast they have. I mean, we have Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio. You have Michael Keaton as Vulture so far. And I'm sure the third it's one, gonna be I, good. I think it's going to be three big villains, three smaller villains. It's going to be good because it's Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Everybody loves Spider-Man. Spider-Man has what, I really what's like a, I really When's like the Spider-Man last time? When's the, the best villains. When's the last time Spider-Man's movie has like really shit the fan? Not people, such... would, people, would, people would argue that Amazing Spider-Man is horrible. I totally disagree with all those. My point exactly. Spider-Man's a good too, Spider-Man just got I a bad too. script. Spider-Man is just... A solidified superhero that everybody loves. Simple as that. I, I think there's a Mount Rushmore. Like exactly, box. you. You've cried every single time you saw uh, Infinity War. Every single time you yeah, saw him cry. Right. That's what you're I'm talking about. Right. It's going to be good nonetheless. Um, it could be a shit movie. You'd be like, I fucking love it. You know damn well you'd love it. I know. No, no, exactly. No, 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 That's no, what no. I'm Don't saying. That I know no, it'll no, be. No. It, it's going to be um, good. So I'm not worried about it. With Spider Man, I just want to ask you guys this. Or in general, if there's a Mount Rushmore. For only four superheroes, the most not not the best superheroes in the world, the most recognizable superheroes. Spider Man's on there, right? Yeah. Spider Man, Captain America, Iron Man, um, Superman, I'm Thor, not, I'm not or DC. See, I think it's Batman, oh. Superman. Oh, Spider-Man. just not Marvel. No. Oh. DC. So I think it's Superman, Batman, Spider Man, and, and Captain America. Captain America. Yeah, maybe. Or or Hulk, or not Hulk. No. Iron Man. Sorry, Iron Man. I'd say Iron Man. Mm-hmm. I, I think definitely Spider Man. I'd say Iron Man right now. I would say, yeah. I would just say any um, any Avenger from the from the six lineup. Nah, I would say any superhero that has a logo. True. Spider Man, Superman, Batman, Captain America, Captain America. Yeah, I'm with you guys on that because so, everybody has seen that logo. So moving on, we're gonna go to another Marvel topic since we're already talking about Marvel. Captain Marvel controversy. So this clip comes out on fucking. For a deleted scene, which I thought actually should have been in the movie. First, I agree. It, it would have made the movie have a little bit more flavor to it. But people are calling Captain Marvel a villain, saying that she's an asshole. Yeah, Tyler, I think you. Have you a- should. You showed me the uh, clip of it. I think it's fucking dumb. I don't understand what people are like screaming about. about yeah, right? I, I don't. It's just because people don't like Brie Larson, but I'm just. It's dumb. I mean, I like Brie Larson. I think she fills the role great. She's a bitchy, sassy superhero. That's who Captain Marvel is. Yeah, and she like she's overpowers, and she knows she is. So why 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 wouldn't she be like that? Like some that guy was obviously harassing her first. So yeah, I mean it's definitely yeah sure it's it's ridiculous the character herself. That's like something that's a little bit off topic. Like I personally don't like her character at Mm -hmm. all. I thought her character was the dumbest thing in Endgame. Like she just stood she there. She didn't have enough in Endgame, but like, I still no, 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 no. Wait, 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 like she wait, wait, literally wait, wait, was like, wait, wait, you know what? I got some other problems on the wait, other side of the no, universe. You I'm gonna go chill out. Down. Chill out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you, before you start saying. Yeah, but that, like, hey. why, why would you have her in there? Like wait, if, okay, like if she's not gonna Tyler. do anything. Like if she literally did nothing, she's the most powerful super. I mean, she she's, she's exactly. Wait, she's the most powerful superhero in that whole movie. She could have just easily wiped out everybody and just, eh, that's done. It's okay. like Gandalf, like, how come Gandalf didn't just send over the eagles immediately? Well, <laughs> and Lord of the Rings. No, 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 no. You guys, no, stop, 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 stop. You need to hear this, though. You can't just have the most overpowered character and every conflict in the first 30 minutes of the film. She, she is the most overpowered character in the MCU. 
or well at least one of them and you could easily be fix the biggest problem in the whole galaxy okay, by just having why, that one what, like it, it literally affects the whole is that a good movie well, no okay, that's not a good no movie. no then, then why movie. have her in, then why have her see. in it why have her in it because she's a part of it but there it doesn't is, matter did she play is. an important role in it what yeah. and in end game no but did she is... play a major big role in it yeah, she literally I don't saved think so. the whole fucking thing when she no, destroyed you, that you shit. Should've, exactly, you should have just came, like you should have just had it like then. Okay, but she, I understand there it. Is, but you're, I, like, but, but the there thing, is another the whole thing, the another thing you're galaxy. Every Listen. film fucking has almost every comic book film. Has that's why true. Like that. true. That's why Superman just had don't introduce. That's don't, why Superman. I'm just get, we're getting off topic. I'm just ranting about the end game thing. I think the whole thing with Captain America or Captain Marvel is bullshit. I don't understand what people are no, crying about. I'll tell you this. I think you would hate her movie. I think you would fucking despise her movie. I really do think you would despise her movie. Why? I just... Because you don't like that she's overpowered. No, and it's no, 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 no. It was reason. not... Her solo movies are by... It's or it's her solo movies. If you're coming... If you're creating a team to take on the world or the universe's biggest threats... And you have well, literally the strongest thing. It's it affects a, there 50, is a whole other galaxy 50, to deal with. Fifty You're not percent of the world so, universe. Wait, wait, is your thing of why she why wasn't she in Infinity War? Is that your thing? No. Okay. Well, no, not you, at all. Then what are you pissed off? Because about? now I'm looking at now I'm trying to now I'm kind no, of I'm saying what why wasn't she in Endgame War? No. She wasn't in yes, Endgame okay, yes. because you can't Actually, have yes. the most overpowered character. Either A, in the movie why didn't you have her time. in there more? Or B why did you even have her at all? Okay. I understand. Yes, she has to be part of the team, but she like, she did so one big thing. That thing. And I, I get what you're saying. I think a lot of that goes to her character in Captain Marvel. Her responsibility is the rest of the universe, and the stuff that she explains in Captain Marvel is that there are everything that's happening on Earth. There's ten times worse shit happening everywhere else. So that's where she's at. That's why I don't think she was with them during the time travel sequences. She wasn't there for a reason. That's the same reason why Akoya wasn't there. She was handling shit in Wakanda. That's how I notice it. That's at least how I view it. A lot of that is just writing things where you look at, okay, the main six Avengers are the last Avengers surviving. They are the main core members, and then you have, what, Rocket and Ant-Man and Nebula popping up in there. I get what you're saying. She is super fucking overpowered. I have no idea how they're going to do Captain Marvel 2. Zero idea. Because it's going to have to be like Superman. Who are you going to fucking throw in there? Doomsday? Who's her doomsday? Galactus versus her? That it's a little bit off topic. That was like my honestly the biggest gripe I've ever had. I still liked her. The, in the movie. biggest gripe. Her sh that scene where she takes down the shit was fucking amazing. The scene where she fought Thanos. Was yeah. Awesome. Exactly. When he headbutts her and she just like Yeah, she just kinda hits like, alright, like my turn. Like her it like her part of the movie is awesome. I think she's cool as a superhero. She should have been more. Exactly. I, I think she like, should have been like, a bit more. The amount that she was in the movie is almost like a spit in my face. Like, why why do you even have her in there? She she was in there for a little bit. The part that she was in there, her big moment, awesome. But I would have liked to see her a little bit more. That's also another thing where that argument of saying, Oh, like you could see like this movie, this movie, and go into Endgame and be fine. Not really, because I didn't see Captain um, or Marvel captain marvel mm -hmm. and i just now learned that the reason why she wasn't in there more and so that and that's where i go though i would say and you probably should see captain marvel for endgame no you need to because that's a big that's question it, that's why they put it the two months before though and i mean and it made a bunch of fucking money yeah i'm not just i'm not saying that i'm just saying a lot of people well, are they're that's saying why I go, is that like mcu endgame if you've seen all the films you're it gonna enhances your yeah absolutely I've seen majority of them. I still enjoyed it, mm -hmm. but there are like there's you, it, in yeah. Now. There's that's why I say like for, to say you can watch these main movies. And you you can watch these main movies for sure, and you can go into it and enjoy you it. Miss out on some things. But there are big. That's a big fucking question in that movie. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't know, obviously I didn't know it until right now. Yeah. Why the hell was she not in there? Oh, because there's other bigger problems out in the universe. Mm -hmm. Cool. Which but again, still. I think. I actually think the next Captain Marvel might take place. What was she doing during Endgame? Exactly. Like that would actually yeah. be a cool thing. Like, see, what I'd was be cool. Doing? Like, I obviously will eat my words in the future, and I take back everything I say when if stuff happens. We're like, oh, all right, I eat my words on Captain Marvel. But as it stands right now in the present, that was my biggest right. But 
back to the original topic. The controversy. The controversy. <laughs> this controversial talk. Yeah. I think it's bullshit. I do too. I don't understand Cause. what people are really... <laughs> ridiculous. Because <clears throat> this is my thing. Superman leveled a fucking city in Man of Steel. And he's still a hero. I mean, given Batman vs. Superman, they posed him as a villain. But... Like, is it because it's a guy and a girl? Is Actually, I want to say that is like the reason why. If it was a guy and a guy, it wouldn't no, be a problem. not at all. It's because it, she's it, a girl. It's just because... And a lot of it... I just... And, and with that being said, if it's like honestly, I really do think it's because now, it is a guy and a like, girl. Hi, do you need help? Give me your bike, your clothing, and let me break your arm. Yeah, okay, I understand. Yeah, 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 I no. could understand why. But if you, like, watch the scene. He's like full. Like, if you know anything about men, <laughs> not just men, but about people, about how they talk, uh, body language, everything. Dude's full on like trying to hit on her. Being a creep, understandable. Yeah. Do you think she should have broken his arm? May, no. Maybe not stealing the shit. Probably not. But I still don't understand like the big problem behind it. I think people just overreact. I 100% agree. Actually, I do that's know. Like, the fandom and nerds. Like, I mean, if you say you like The Last Jedi, people will attack you. Yeah. If you say you sure. like Game of Thrones Season 8, which we got like five dislikes on that video. Because I'm pretty sure because we said the last episode was not bad. It was good. It was. Fuck you. you don't like, it, so. like, I understand. Your own opinion, but still. Like, truly, just listen to what I've said and you've and Zach has said. It is short. It is rushed. That is the biggest, in my opinion, and I, honestly, I do think how every story ended and wrapped up was good. Mm-hmm. It was just rushed. Like, you, I, it, it was, it was rushed. rushed. Like, if you don't understand, like, I think Jon Snow's ending was horrible. Mm-hmm. Like, and I Carlos, could, like, you liked it too, right? Like, people. Were, I thought it was pretty solid. Yeah. Stuff. Like, if you don't like Jon, like, I understand why people wouldn't like it. I, it I mean, I was a if you know that his name, like, he was the rightful heir, and it just kind of went to shit. No, like, but here's here's the thing. The, well, like, I understand why, but it it still upsets me. But like, it, I understand the ending, why it had to play out like that. Yeah. But I'm doesn't mean i'm happy with it i but it, was, I th- it felt so it felt odd for me honestly i think it was perfect because it's exact it plays to who john is as a character he's a bastard mm-hmm. he's not supposed to be royalty he is not supposed to wed he's not supposed to have children he is supposed he, he is exactly where he needs well, to be that's why i love it part of the night's watch yeah it's the only place he, ever he said that first season he's like i just want to be with the night's watch that's where i feel like and I technically he's not even with them he's with the wildlings like, yeah I, I believe the way I that's do what it like is he's going with the wildlings yeah he's trying yeah. to be with the night's watch but there is no need for a night's watch but it's a fucking hole in the wall yeah there's and there's no more uh white walkers it's Plus, ended and spring is now happening yeah and it, he got the pet ghost like i yeah. thought like his ending i loved how it ended i understand why people would be pissed off but it's a literally exactly how his character of like his history and backstory not the fact that he is a targaryen but him as a character he's a bastard he's been saying that he wanted to be with the wildlings since the beginning i think it was just awesome how it ended i'm really off topic really off topic that's okay what are your thoughts on the captain marvel controversy uh, like I said, I already. I think it's ridiculous. I don't think. I mean, Terminator did it. He wasn't necessarily being harassed, but no one True. said a fucking word about it. He was naked. Yeah, and he was naked. No one said a fucking word about it. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that scene. I have zero problem with either one of these scenes. I think it was great. I think it should have been in the film as well. Hundred percent. I would agree. I think. I don't. I think it fits her character because she's a badass. She's overpowered, and she knows she's overpowered. And she really does. She has other things to deal with. She has like, worse shit. Like really there's worse shit's going on. There's an that guy came up to her. Happening. That guy but came up to her. And was bothering her. She was minding her own business. Yeah. I think she was in her uh, in her right. Yeah, cool. She got a bike out of it. Um, moving on to the next news topic. Hopefully, we don't get deterred or anything on this. Uh, Once upon a time in Hollywood, a film that we are very all looking forward to. Yeah, fucking raved reviews. Tarantino is gonna recut the film. Yeah. So initial thoughts, you're like, oh. That's yeah, not good. and then you told me about and then, it. So he usually always recuts his films. He recut it during *Inglorious Bastards* when it premiered. He, I'm pretty sure he recut *Pulp Fiction*. He recuts it because he wants to fix it. Yeah, he wants he, to make it better. And I don't. Some people might think that's super shitty, mm-hmm. that it's fake. 
A lot of, but a lot of filmmakers do that. I don't think it's a problem if you put out something and it's not perceived. Uh, say it's great, but there's like few th- exact e- examples. Why not go back and fix it to make it better? It's not like it's a test. No, well, and he, I know. So the film almost didn't even premiere. It was this close to not premiering, and for people that don't know, it's like my fingers are up, like pinching. But I, I keep forgetting we're on audio too. So when people yeah, listen to audio, I, I feel, feel bad. Like they're like, "Fuck, what uh, are they doing?" Like common sense a little bit, but hopefully we could be a little naked on here for mm-hmm. everyone knows. I really do think we should do a naked podcast. I'd be really weird. Not really. I could not be wearing any pants right now, and none of you would know. Maybe you aren't. I want to check. No, I'm good. Maybe I rolled out of bed and decided to go commando to work. That would be cool. You can have an apron on. Just don't turn around. Yo, there was a story I heard about a guy that used to work where I work now at the restaurant. Uh, one day they were all closing. He used to be a dishwasher, and he was in the back of the house, right, just washing dishes, minding his own business. And one of the chefs came back there, and he's just standing in there. Apron only, boxers, shoes. That's it. Apron, boxers, shoes. Goals. That's hey, all man. he had, and he was just washing. The chef goes, what the fuck are you doing? He goes, got hot hey hey that's it that's dude like, whatever nobody else was in the restaurant so he didn't give a shit i feel like everybody like in the why do i imagine him wearing crocs like no i just imagine no, I no. crocs. you gotta you gotta not. wear certified you know, back of the house shoes fucking crocs during tony stark's funeral was, was he, he actually there? yeah someone has a behind the scenes footage and he's been fucking crocs that's oh hilarious uh fucking like a restaurant back of the house you see all kinds of weird shit back there, man. People don't give a fuck. It's like it's like Thunderdome, legit. It's like Mad Max sometimes. Everyone that works back at the house restaurant industry are a bunch of weirdos. I swear to God. I, I love know, like, like but I love every them. single person I worked in the back is fucking weird. Like, uh, but I, I love but working back at the it's house. It's something there's something like a neat little thing to it. It's just every walk yeah. of life. There was a guy Or was, just the most strangest who ones. Who would sing Biggie Smalls like songs all the time in the back. And he was fucking huge. Like he was fucking giant. Like, yeah. He looked like Shrek like big. There's, oh, really? okay, there's yeah. this guy at we really my work. Topic, but fuck it. Look, okay, I'm gonna uh, story right, time. This is more interesting. Sorry guys. Yeah this is actually super. We're excited for the recut. That's all. This is super odd. This guy he works his ass off right. Comes in every morning. Works his ass off. As He's one of the food preps. This dude lives off of uh, anything sugar. So, like, soda, he comes in with uh, Twinkies, Zingers, like, just all of these yeah, crazy just... snacks. Just ridiculous. For no reason at all. He's I... not, he, he doesn't have, like, low blood sugar or nothing. He just enjoys sugar. And then when he gets off of work, he goes to all of these crazy parties with all of these ridiculous women that will do anything for a little bit of drugs. Like yeah, basically. Um... And I'm not. I'm not even fucking lying. Everyone at this restaurant you know can verify. Yeah. Okay. Everyone at this restaurant can verify it for you. I'm not going to tell you where because I do not want yeah, people we, to go yeah, around yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, but it. But it's real. But yeah. everyone in this restaurant will tell you it is 100 percent real. The dude's cr- like. And this really? dude well, he, in, how old is he? Oh, he's like six. Oh, what he's, yeah. he's in his sixties. Yeah, he's old as but shit, he doesn't dude. look he like works it. Works his ass off, dude. He oh my in, god. He puts he's in so he's a good worker. Work. Oh yeah. He works he, his ass he, off, and he's one of the coolest guys you'll ever meet, too. Oh, yeah. He's such a dude. Like, God, he works insanely fast, super friendly dude, and he is so good at his job in the sense of what he oh makes for prep. Oh, my God. His almond milk. Yo, every morning. His homemade milk, almond milk that he makes for the restaurant. Almond milk. Fuck. I've Perfection. never... It's so good. Ice cold. Oh my goodness. You got to make yourself some He's homemade almond milk. one of the coolest Talking guys Talking about ever. food places. So it was a couple of semesters ago. I had this kid who used to work at uh, Cold Stone, I think. Yeah, Cold Stone. <laughs> and he used to just be like a normal worker. And he quit there. He comes in. He's like so pissed. He quit one day. And I was like, why are you pissed? He starts telling us this whole fucking story and showing us proof on his phone. So one time he had to go open it. He has to get there at like six or something to like prep shit. Yeah. And he said he got there, and the owner of that store was getting his dick sucked. Oh, yo, by not his wife. Oh, a random girl. Oh. And so he took a photo. Damn. And so the guy was like, told him he'd give him a raise, all this shit. 
Well, then he caught it. He found naked pictures of the manager on the clock in like computer. Oh, like, he got so fucking. This cold stone isn't there anymore. Like, it closed down a couple weeks after yeah. he quit. Oh. Because I guess his wife found out all this stuff. Yeah, oh, probably no. got divorced. Woo. That's the food industry, my guys. That's... Weird shit. Like, yeah. If you have, like, if you work in a place that's customer service and it's, like, food and you have, like, mm-hmm. a semi, quote-unquote, back of the house. Yeah. Well, like, I work in retail and, like, I get weird customers. I get weird... I mean, there's weird associates that have weird lives that I just don't care about. Yeah. <laughs> like... Nah. No. No, I can't. I can't Don't say it. it because I've mentioned where I've worked on here before. Yeah. I'll tell you guys off air. All right. It's, 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 Everybody on the podcast is like, "Fuck!" I know. I'm Damn sorry. it. I'm sorry. Maybe when I quit there, I'll bring it up on here. Damn but it, Zach. I just, I, just, I can't. Hey, there's, there's your option to make a premium Patreon. There you True. go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have a Patreon. So there if you, you guys go, want me. that story. Go hit up my Patreon. I'll Damn, do I, it. I need to open up my own Patreon. I'm fucking broke <laughs> as fuck out here. Poor college student alive. True. Do go Tell find the me. worst Seriously. Stories. Jesus. Yeah, but we're just going to move on to the main topic. Fuck anything else we have to talk to. We're just going to talk about the main topic. The main topic was, and I'm Let's sure go. a lot of you guys, if you guys Let's go. After through the shitting, through the Deadpool, through the story time, to our arguing about Captain Marvel and Endgame, to more pooping. We're talking about what we want from E3 2019. Let's go, boys. This is a big, the big thing. I think we're all big advocates for video games. We love video games. I'm a little, I'm not uh, like let's say you're on one spectrum. Uh I'm not saying I'm on the completely other side of the spectrum, but I'm in the middle right now, and I'll get into a little bit. So, here's my thing. Every E3 comes around, and the number one thing I want is new IP. Blow me away with a new IP. The last time I was honestly uh, new. Title, completely new Something title. Completely new. Yeah. The last three games that completely blew me away when they were announced was Alan Wake, one hundred percent. It was announced. I'm like, that's fucking cool. The second one was Bioshock, the Ooh. very first one. Yeah. Totally blew me away, and the third one was honestly Gears of War. That right. long ago, that first Gears of War, I remember really? when they showed it, and I freaked out. I was like, that's awesome. I don't remember when. Gears Not of Cyberpunk. War. Yeah, I was about to say Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk's, well, Cyberpunks, okay, Cyberpunks kind of fucking in there. Sir, Especially yeah. that last trailer. That trailer was fun. But uh, which one? The last last one. But the thing is, is that they usually just do their own thing. They haven't shown gameplay at E three. They've shown gameplay by themselves. Oh yeah. But nothing at E three yet. Or Prey two. Prey two looked fucking awesome. Got canceled. Yeah. See. And um, the Silent Hill game. All right. So here's yeah. okay. Here's my here's here is me okay. here some new Death Stranding. Maybe. Here is me ramping up. Yes, ramping good. up. To the reason why I'm more on the gray side with E3, I'm kind of like, eh, all right, E3. Like I'm excited to see what ha- what like gets announced and released and or whatever. But I am like, it's been so many t- like e- like the past like three years probably plus. It seems like there has been so many games where like, holy shit, this looks fucking amazing! I can't wait. It gets released or it just gets canceled completely. It gets released and it is nothing like no, it is shown. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of just sick and. I don't know. That's why I'm still kind of pitched. Not, e- not even close. Go back to watching the reveal trailer and to see what it looks like or like when it got released. It does not look close. That's what I mean. It's yeah. completely oh. different. That's oh, I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Watch Dogs. Oh, like, that really, that like, they like oh, Grand try to get close. I love Watch Dogs. I did like it. I, I really, yeah, but it, but it wasn't what I wanted. It's it wasn't nothing. Like what was exactly, and I'm not, I'm not. Oh, uh, I'm, what was? I'm not okay no with just guy. saying. Yeah, it's exactly. Oh my god. Yeah, it is better now. Yeah, but I again lost its audience. Yeah, exactly. Here, like again, with my whole thing with video games. Fuck you guys. If I pay sixty dollars and it's not what I wanted, like but, uh, how come you, know, you, you guys know, aren't getting sued? You know who like for any address? other company. You yeah. know who we should address that has been putting out quality games? Nintendo. Nintendo has consistently put what? out quality games. Stop talking over me. <laughs> Why? Like, I'm not gonna like stop. Like what? Okay. Why aren't video game companies getting sued over what? Hey. This is quote unquote what the video game is going to be. It gets released and it's not. Why are they not being like held up for false um, advertisement? That's some bullshit. I think part of that honestly is like you're, just the industry though. It, it, that's why I'm like so like bleh, with the games. Like yeah sure Nintendo's doing great games. I'm not saying that they're not but I am not that gamer. I am 
I, I like like sit down, play for a few hours, hop the fuck off because games have gone so far to where I don't want to play more than a few hours because I'm just like I'm tired of it. Yeah. That's why for this E three like when I was younger, I could fucking sit there for 10 hours. Yeah, but yeah. then again, I was we were born at the height of like when games were starting and were actually good. We lived through like the whole like well, morphing into it. Now it's because like if you go back and play like retro games, they're not that good. They're not like, that good. They're, uh, they're not that good because how fucking cool that was. Yes, that game sucks. Now. Yes, because of you know, how fast okay, you know technology progresses. You no, know it does hold up. Star Wars Battlefront Two. I agree with that. It is Battle but, the original. But that's all due towards of how what we have now Mm -hmm. like yeah sure the graphics and shit like that may not be good but it worked when it first released half the shit doesn't work when a game gets released now as oh you wait you know what after you pay your 60 dollars we're really sorry the game that you bought is 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 just broken to fuck and it's like yeah Yeah. uh, we're gonna give you a new update in like the next month fuck you you lost me (laughs) no you lost me then and I, you've lost me, and I've also lost sixty dollars. I'm not gonna get back. I'm gonna get like a portion of it back. Mm-hmm. Fuck you guys. So, you had something. Uh, I got a lot of something. Well, so like, what do you? Like, okay, I mean, so truthfully, so, all right. Well, not so a lot of something, besides but... me bashing E3, what I am excited about and somewhat hopeful because I do have to be positive in aspects of everything. I am excited for Cyberpunk. I am excited. Are you get a release date. They have to. Absolutely. They have, a if they coming, if they be. don't. Well, because now you can actually pre-order it at GameStop. That's how you can oh, tell when cool. release So, like, last time I went in there, I asked, like, what game's going to Yeah. Be. So, the games that you can now pre-order that are probably going to get release dates, like, honestly, because tomorrow, like, as we're filming this, tomorrow, Death Stranding, Last of Us 2, and all these other PlayStation games are getting release dates tomorrow, apparently. So, that's something big. Death Stranding is online. supposed to be shown tomorrow as well. So, but here's the thing. So, Death Stranding, you can pre-order now. Last of Us 2, you can pre-order now. Cyberpunk, you can finally pre-order now. They're probably getting the release date yeah. soon. And they're probably not all coming out this yeah. year, but there will be a date. The only well, thing here's, here's here's some I got some like peak stuff that's coming to E three or ever well that's predicted to come to E three. Well there's a year. lot. Real fast though, I liked how you said Nintendo. Inten- Nintendo I has this, yes. I agree with you. Exclusives come out. Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft, they are firing on all cylinders. That, that's the truth. Yeah, the and that's how every well game should be now. <laughs> but it's, it's, the, it's the other companies like Activision, EA, yes, Ubisoft, but the, who are making the exact same it's shit. It's cash and, cow. That's and why. that's where I'll go and say, that's kind of a... That's my fault. I buy the game every year. Sometimes. Sometimes I'll wait till it's cheaper, but I buy the game every year. Yeah, I, I typically buy like every yeah. COD. Like I, Even though... I, and that's the thing. Every year it's, I'm not going to buy a I know for I a fact, but time. do you know what's funny? I know for a fact now I'm not because now I have opened my eyes to what Activision is. They just don't give a fuck. They just want your money. And it's I'm like, the same shit, Arrogant. Like, I understand, yeah, it's a business, but I am not going to, like, support something that just deliberately pushes the envelope of, hey, spend more money than you already spent, even though our game is mediocre at best. True. We got, uh, the X Cloud, I feel like that should have some. That? Uh, you haven't. That's the streaming thing for Xbox oh, okay. and Microsoft. Well, not necessarily streaming, but it's for like uh, opening it up to all platforms. Oh, well, Sony. Oh, and oh so that's, that's oh. That's rumored to be the way that Xbox and Switch are gonna uh, connect with each other, yeah. and, probably and probably Game Pass. Cross platform. Yeah. So like, Game Pass stuff like that, because now there is a bundle for Xbox Live and Game Pass that's coming soon. Well, do you know Nintendo has a bundle with Amazon Prime? If you have Amazon Prime, you get the Nintendo Online for free. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, wow. I saw that the other day. Yeah, so that's a See, big thing. It's cool, but it's also, I mean, as long as a pr- everything stays like price wise good for the consumer, I think it's cool. Amazon's people have like weird things with Amazon. Mm-hmm. People are that's a, that's actually a topic we should get into next a different podcast where we talk about companies and companies. breaking them up. But but go on. Um, Halo Infinite. Yeah, that's there's supposed show. to be more gameplay at this one. It's I want to see. It's not the something. console. It's not that'll debut with the next console. I, you think so? Guaranteed. I th- yeah. I think so because no it's way. rumor that these comp new, which, which again, is a big thing. So like, yes, there are game wise. I'm just kind of sick of E3, the but there are console. things I can I say something. I want the next about. console right now. I want the next console generation. These consoles like that would be the Xbox One and the PlayStation. It is unfortunate that these did not last as long, but that's that's. 
in technology in general. These next consoles, my one hope for them, because this is my prediction, Sony will announce theirs soon. But Microsoft's probably going to beat them to it. And my wild hot take, it's getting, it's coming out this year. It will come I, out this year. I think fucking crazy here's, if they're just ready to go. I think, well... It's been more rumored. Something... It's, and I think Sony's my, is next year. My gut feeling is that, yeah, it's going to get... Everything's going to get released this year, hardware-wise, because there has been more talk than... I don't think than, Sony's is this year. Because, I think... I don't... I, a gut feeling in me... This is why I'm just saying well, this. A gut feeling... Not at E3 this year. I know. A gut feeling tells me that everything will, or at least Microsoft and Sony will release their hardware this year. Reason being is that there's been a lot of talk Rumors. of just like Microsoft and Sony going back and forth. Kind there's, exciting, yeah, I, I know because it makes. I miss. I need a new console. <laughs> I don't need a new console. I need a sense of like we are happy to do what we do now. Mm-hmm. It's like we're giving exactly what the consumer wants. And Good actually, stuff. I'll go with this. Halo Infinite will not release the first day without Xbox. No. But you know what will? Gears of War 5. Probably. I guarantee like, but... that'll be... Because the the thing with these last consoles, they rushed them out. They yeah, didn't they didn't. any exclusive come out. The only big game that came out first day with the console was fucking uh, Sun Killzone. Or... Kill Infamous wasn't with it. Or Infamous was uh, later. Yeah. It was Killzone. That was it. This and then Xbox have, had like a few. Yeah, you had like Sunset F4. Overdrive, right? No, no. It was next year, it was, was it? Forza. It was yeah. Forza. Uh, Rice, Son of Rome, some yeah, weird Rice that Spartan thing. game so short. That game was cheap. So that's Everyone why Fortnite was supposed to come out with it. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I, I think. So if the consoles do come out, Gears of War Five will be a first day title for Microsoft. It's the best way to kind of like, hey, Gears of War fan, because. You have me. You guys know how much I love Gears of War. I'm going to buy the console first day because yeah. I want to play Gears of War. And they'll probably have some special edition. Gears of War, Xbox, you know. Do you know like- why? Actually, this is. I just thought about this. I'm sorry to cut no, you no, off, no, but no. I just thought about it. I want to say every console, and it's probably not going to come as a surprise, but will hopefully launch because they're going to have the, what was it, the X Cloud? X Cloud, yeah. Because yeah. since they're going to have the X Cloud and everything's going to now be cross-platform. Uh, we're gonna hopefully hopefully uh, hopefully, and i think it it, i they hope i hope it happens and i think it'll probably like each console will release with firing on all cylinders console exclusive game because if they do go with the cross platform they're not going to ship like yeah they have like which one are you going to choose first which i think is a great idea and that's why i think so microsoft's going to announce a lot of new ip because they I, bought all those studios, so we're going to have a lot yeah. of IP and new returning IP. I have a feeling Fable 4 is getting announced. E- Fable 4 is getting announced. It's been too long. It's been too... That's a big thing. It's yeah, probably but I'm not a, I honestly I'm not think... Interested. I played all of I 3, and I'm just... Fable. I don't know. I, I, I don't think creator, it's for me. Though, I, th- I just think a new creator needs to come in. And, I mean, maybe I don't know. We'll see it, it's, it, it's, like, it's, if it is, I'll, I'll look into it. I don't... But, here, for someone that says you want new IPs, I'm surprised that you're wanting old stuff returning. Some. Some. Like, there are some IPs that, I, like, Fable, we haven't gotten a new Fable in years. But, that, but that, that's, that's such that was, a huge, far demographic. Majority of the people that, that played it during its heyday are not even playing video games. Yeah. You need to introduce something that's was introduced, yeah. put aside for a little bit, and now we're going to revive it. I think that's the smartest thing, because me personally, I'm not well, going to play fucking I don't think Fable. They're, they're not going to call it Fable 4. Guaranteed they won't. Yeah, I, Fable. Not only that, but you also have a Skyrim coming out. Oh, the next Elder Yeah, there's, so there's, that, there's so that's much... That's not for another four years. Oh, really? So uh, that trailer they showed, they literally said, we made the trailer so everyone would shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we haven't even started on the game technically. We've written some of it. And we just put this together. But wow. they will be showing their new game, that Stargate one. Right. The Star one. Now, I don't care uh, about it. You want to know why? It's built on the same engine as Fallout 76. Oh, God so I don't give damn one it, shit. dude. Do you know they haven't changed? They've been using the same engine since 1998. The same fucking engine. That's why God all their games are buggy. What the fuck? What are they doing? They don't Being care. Being shit. Because people are buying the games. Do you know what's funny? So they put Stargate on a different engine, and it ran 10 times better. They put it on un- Unreal. But they said, okay, well, our developers don't know how to use it, so we're just going to put it on the older one. See, that's my thing. Oh my I'm not spending $60 so for that why trash. That's why, that's why, that's why because Bethesda watch, don't give my money no more. The trailer's going to come out fucking amazing. It's going to look fucking awesome. That's why I'm bullshit. The out, it's going to be buggy as shit. Bullshit. So I'm, I'm not. not no. The only time I like Bethesda. You think Bethesda, it's just going to be a Fallout in space? 
it literally is Skyrim in space. That's what they said. Oh, God damn. Like, the but idea cool. sounds cool, it, but I'm not... Does, no, but fuck that. I'm not playing it on the... But all these I, one yeah. game, that new Xbox game, uh, The Outer World. You that know what? Was oh, awesome. You know yeah. what? No, I don't even need that. I'll just play futuristic one where it takes place in fucking L.A. I'll play Cyberpunk. Well, I'm fuck, working on that. Fuck all you... So, okay. Like, I'll put where... I'm placing my $60 on a bet where Cyberpunk's okay. gonna be worth the $60. Okay. Fuck fast, all Let's go through each. So, we're gonna go through Sony, Nintendo, and... Microsoft. All right. I know. Again, we know Sony and Nintendo don't actually go to E3, but they they're gonna have some presence. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna have a. They're gonna have. Uh, Nintendo's gonna have an E3 direct. And PlayStation will have that Sony Play thing. Say to play. Yeah. So so here's the thing. Let's start with Microsoft. We all are in greens. They're announcing the new console this year. Yeah. Yeah. And is be. it coming out this year? We agree. I, Most maybe, likely. Probably. Okay. Halo Six. This is how I think they're gonna start doing their exclusives, just like how streaming services do. What they do is. I mean, here's the thing. There's us who will binge the shit out of the series. Some yeah. people take a couple of weeks to days to watch yeah. it. First game is going to be Gears of War 5. Probably another Forza game or something. Different concept. A couple months later will be Halo 6. I don't know. I'm, re- I'm kind of over the Forza thing. I, I don't care about Forza, but I'm yeah, just saying like people are still fans okay. of Forza. But that's like anybody saying, like I'm tired of shooter games. It's just a different demographic. Yeah. Some people love Forza. That's the reason why they're, they're, ma- they're selling... Very that's well. why they're, well, yeah, that's no, why I've they're played them, I've played them they, a bit, but they're just well, it's for the same me, thing over and like I, I agree, but truthfully, like Forza Horizon, I don't really care about Forza Motorsports because that's a little bit too grounded for me. Forza Horizon is beautiful, yeah, it's it one, is a it's gorgeous the best game I've ever made, yeah, really? like yeah. oh, absolutely, yeah, like I think insane. I have it in my ready to install. It's it, like that's like the game where I'm like, this looks real, but, okay, so you are right on that, it's gorgeous, yeah, but how many. How many fighting games can you make? You know, yeah. but I don't think it'll. I don't know what game exclusive console exclusive game will release with the new consoles. I, I, I just I know it'll Gears. be. I think Gears is probably the most. Dumb. I don't know. But I, I, I don't think know. What they're gonna do is they're gonna do Gears will also be on Xbox One X and the new one, and it'll be cross platform between both consoles. Yeah. And if, get it. if they do the if they can roll it out in time now, for the X Cloud, where yeah. could you imagine where you? Oh yeah, it's. Across the platform X Cloud. Oh, I know. Is this console is this console gonna be backwards compatible with everything again? It has to be. It has to be. They're probably they, there's too much. You can upload the here's oh. here's my thing. Same with like Pe- Conquer. Like I've conquered Bad Fur Day for the original Xbox. I can play it on my one. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, that's like I want to say yes because it was such a big feature. Well, that was a huge thing with uh, Xbox and PlayStation. Like, shit the they, bed on that. Yeah, they we'll like. We'll talk about them. In a so I want to say like. In the sense of like hardware making shit, I feel like they're very loud. Like mm-hmm. they are listening to th- what people want. Like well, Xbox, game- remember, remember when they said like you can't share games on the mm-hmm. Xbox oh, when it first like, yeah, oh my pissed. goodness, it was. But that's so- how a PC and- is. So was, I get where they're well, you going can, towards that. You can switch yes, home, li- uh, home but computers it's a, though. It's a different. It's a different climate with a console. Pe- yeah, and people are not used to the shit so, on PC. It's a it's a console. Keep them separate. Um, any, we're all gonna go around one more time. One big thing from Xbox thing that you think is gonna happen? Definitely like console for sure. The console. Anything else? Yeah. Anything? I mean, there's a plethora, but like my big thing is definitely either hopeful. I hoping console and xcloud i want to know more about xcloud i want to know updates i want to know does if nintendo sony walk out on stage does nintendo walk out on stage does i don't Reggie know walk out on stage? does nintendo and sony walk out on stage i have no I think idea sony and nintendo will i think xbox and you nintendo don't know might. That though because think about it like microsoft and nintendo no... are already in bed well yeah but now sony is too so that's my thing like i don't i don't know what's your one big thing for microsoft I, yeah, I, I need that. I want to like. I want, it, I want it to be Switch. I want. I want to be able to play Switch uh, or Xbox games on my Switch. I just want to know more. That's why I haven't bought and cut that on the Switch because I'm convinced I'm gonna be able to use my Xbox version. Yeah. See, that's like the thing. Like, I just want to know information. Like, mm-hmm. all these things sound great on paper, mm-hmm. until like it gets talked about by official reps. Shit can get yeah. so fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm with you guys on the Xbox. That's what I really want to see. Since they bought all those studios last E3 and announced all the ones, but they didn't show any of the games. Yeah. My prediction is they're showing a bunch of new games, and I think a lot of it's gonna be new IP. I think a lot of it's gonna be returning IP, where it's a mix to get the older fans back in. Like, like if I wasn't playing this video game much and I saw they were making a new Fable, I would honestly get really excited. 
I know you're not in the Fable and that doesn't oh, yeah. matter about you. But that's but like and you, 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 it just had to be a dedicated fan oh, yeah. that game. It would just have to like for me to get excited, I don't know which game it would have to be, but it, I'm sure yeah. there's a game or where like, they'd be like oh yeah, we're releasing it and we're doing I awesome. Going out and like two finally gets announced too. I don't Dude, it's it been it's been so fucking for nice. So long. I didn't play the first one. So I I knew nice. it was good. I didn't. It's I just didn't a, play it's it. It's not ready to install. Do yourself a favor uh, and Jesus. sit the fuck down and play that shit. You can't go buy it shit. anymore in a store. Really? And you can't buy it on Steam anymore because the the licensing rights for one of the songs got like pulled. Oh wow. So like, and I don't think the developers are even. I think it's like owned by a different studio now. Oh so, like, shit. They didn't want to go back through and fix it. So it's like a rare game, I think. I, or maybe it's the that spin. I don't. I'm not 100. Hmm. The spinoff sucked, yeah. dude. I hate yeah, that it, shit. It was just. A but go play the first one. The first one it's in our ready to install. Yeah. Do yourself okay. the favor. So like, yeah. So that's my. Let's move to Nintendo. Uh, I'll start with you this time. Yeah, because you're you're a Nintendo yeah. fan for sure. So, which is... one big thing from Nintendo that you think's gonna happen. Oh well, they already like it's gotta be. There's three things that's gotta happen. So that's like what I got right here. You cool if I read off all three? Yeah, that's fine. We got Luigi's Mansion three. Yeah. Animal Crossing. Haven't they announced those two already? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we're just we're, I think we're just getting more on that. Those and will I, probably come out this. Week. And Pokemon, of course. Yeah, Pokemon. But the, big one. the biggest thing right for me, the new Smash characters. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna announce all of them or just one? I think. I think people people are saying one. they're gonna do two. People are saying they're gonna. Do I think two. they're gonna do a big one like Banjo. I think Banjo. I think. Be finally gets shown you think banjo kazooie see that's like now that i'm thinking about it this i honestly think it's just gonna it might be a full-on like orgy at e3 where they're just like this character from ours is going here like it might be just a crazy mess of things it'd be pretty cool walks out with xbox when they're talking about x cloud reggie walks up and is like hey by the way banjo's in fucking smash nerds that's what i'm talking about like chief like, I would be pretty Master... pissed off if they do Steve from Minecraft, I but there's pretty high about, chances I that they will. I think that one's more of a chance than any of those, just because... He's got such a variety of weapons, it would it, 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 I actually would be sense, mad about that, but, but I, I don't I think, want it. I think if you're going to do a character... Because here's the thing. You also have to remember, a lot of these characters that they're already putting in are Japanese characters. These are big, strong things in Japan. Yeah. Halo's not a big franchise out there. Banjo-Kazooie are not. No. These are Western titles. Most of these add-on characters are... Yeah. Uh, so they're not Western. So that's why I think we're going to get one big Western character out of this, and I think it's Banjo or Master Chief. But I do think Steve. I think Steve. If I get cool. Steve and there's a fucking Master Chief skin for him, I'm burning down Nintendo headquarters. I swear to God. Sakurai, I'm coming for your head. You bro. just called it. It's going to happen. If I, if I get Master Chief as a skin, they disrespect him like that for Steve. So are those your three? Throw in the whole Switch away. So are those your main three for yes, Nintendo? That's what I got. So my thing is. I mean, Pokemon's probably the biggest thing they're going to push at this one. But I think this... I think they're going to actually announce a new version of the Switch. Because there's been rumors about yeah. it. And I think I yeah, forgot. I forgot. There's been a lot of rumors for it. I think it's going to be a 4K it. version. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. I got to get it. So... But I need to see what is it like. What's the specs like? Is the thing or how much it? more? How is much it? is it like? Yeah. Can I trade my other one in? I just have to pay like a couple hundred. Yeah. Like a hundred dollars like, for it. Like, like for me. I, I'm not a huge fan of just minor hardware specs. Yeah. Like, the whole reason why it's like, I don't know. Like, for me, like the Xbox one, it just didn't seem like worth it. For you, absolutely 100% does. Yep. I couldn't, like, for me, I can't shell out that kind of money mm-hmm. for just like a few good minor uh, spec upgrades. If the Switch, what, how much is the Switch now? 300? 300. Yeah, like two. Which is a perfect deal. That's a fucking steal. Two ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. So like, if you just pay attention and like Best Buy deals and stuff. Oh yeah, you can get these consoles for cheap. That's how I got my best for cheap. Best Buy or Amazon, those are the two. I, if you're looking and for t- I, as quick pro on, tip and here. And honestly, as much as people shit on GameStop, GameStop does have good deals. Yes, quick pro tip here though. For shopping for tech, shop Amazon and Best Buy, because they compare everything. exactly. And they always do the best sales. And obviously, Amazon has the best sales. And majority of time, places can't even compete with it. Best Buy always will. Black Friday, they did a PlayStation Pro with Spider-Man and a PlayStation Pro for $150. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, so... I mean, it sold out super fast, but... Yeah. Um, But yeah. What were we talking about? Nintendo. Do you have any big things for Nintendo? Like, what do you think is going to happen? 
I don't know a lot about Nintendo. The one thing I do know that has a lot of hype around that I would like to see get announced, even though I won't play because I don't have a Switch, is I want to see like people go freaking out about Metroid. Like I want to see them to show something and watch people go, holy, f- that's, like just that's my big shit thing. their pants because I, I like seeing that. I think they'll talk about it, but I don't think they're showing. I think I, they'll they, say that they it's might back show. Well, like, because they scrapped it. It is in development. They mode. might. But the, I think they'll say. I think they'll announce a release date or at least a trailer. For exactly. A remaster. Like I. For uh, a remaster. All three. Yep. I think, I think they'll remaster. do. I think they'll do remaster. And I, I just. That's what'll be at this direct. If the last one was on the GameCube. Honestly, like. Cycles. What I want from E3 is I want it to be an event where every company just says shit and everybody just goes ape shit for it. Okay. I like seeing people hyped up for it and I don't like seeing do going on social want, media. Do you want to hear what I want from the Switch? This xCloud thing. Yeah. Like, you know, I, no, no, no. Do you know what I think that could do for the Switch? Yeah. The There's no backwards are, mm. compatibility on the Switch. Why won't you just let me stream a GameCube game? Exactly. Or a fucking Nintendo 64 game. Yeah. I would freak the fuck out if I could play original Smash's original Mario Kart on yeah, there. that'd be that'd be super cool. It would increase the value of and that. They're uh, the doing, online and they're too. already doing it with the SNES on there, but I don't give a fuck about that. So I kind of do. I, I'm playing Super Mario Brothers three cool. again. I'm kind of like cool. thinking about like games in general, like because since it's it was founded when technology was yeah. around, it's kind of cool to think about. You could essentially have the whole like history archive of games ready to stream at any moment yeah like you like you could be essentially playing pong on your fucking switch that is the first game that's a part, piece of history it's kind of cool how you will be able to literally just stream yeah. and that's any what I really like about it. any era any of games and that's kind of like that's why i want to say like i'm hoping x cloud is as amazing as it sounds mm-hmm. where it's just like the three biggest companies in games come together and we're just like we'll have our exclusives but we're just we're going to be here for the people. What keeps us alive? We're gonna have. We're like well, they have to work. Together. I think, we're I like think Call we're of Duty. To it. I hope so. We're like Call of Duty. I think we're getting closer. Where a Call of Duty player can play on Xbox, and you, PC. You know, you know what's funny is anything, and you are all playing Fortnite together. Push that in Fortnite can exactly. Fortnite can push that I know. In Rocket League. Yep. And as much as I hate uh, Fortnite because of like the crazy obsession it is. I'm happy they have pushed that envelope I'm because it just creates. I'm happy I can create... play with them on a I'm happy I can take my shit and go on my Switch and th- play on the Switch yeah. and do my <laughs> challenges and shit. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I think it's a great thing. And I I really, like, the biggest thing I want from E3 is for the companies to be like, this is coming out. This is what we have we, going on. This is it. And everybody's just like, holy shit. Actually be for the people. Exactly. Like, so, this. I hope this is the year because it seems like from what it seems like people that are invested in games no matter how small they have been very very vocal and it's there's been a lot of controversy surrounding games in general this year i hope this is the year where they finally shape yeah. up and like this is what we so, got going on last one sony i'm gonna start for this one i don't think the new console is coming out this year i think it's next year i think they're gonna come out firing on all fucking cylinders because the first game on that console will be last of us 2 100 percent I don't think Last of Us 2 comes out this year. I think Death Stranding will be the game this year. Because, like I said, Sony's always had two exclusives. One in the earlier of the year, one at the back end. This year was Days Gone. Back end one will probably be Death Stranding. Because so many people are really intrigued with that game. Yeah. Right. I think, why not come out on your next fucking console? Your exclusive is Last of Us Part 2. Yeah. I mean, it, for me, yeah. it, it makes ended. sense. It ended the three gen- or generation three of the PlayStation. It ended, yeah. It'd be cool to start the fifth, the fifth one. one with this one. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I think that's a way that they're going to do it. I also it'd, think it'd be a great marketing mm-hmm. tactic. Yeah. And I think they're also going to announce a couple new IPs or some new sequels to. Like I don't think they're going to announce a new Uncharted or anything, but I think definitely they're going to announce. Something. I don't want them to announce a new Uncharted. No, I'm done. I, I, I don't Uncharted want them. I think Uncharted. I don't even think a break. I think Uncharted should be just done. Well, four ended it perfectly. That the yeah. Sisters, um, okay. Yeah, that, it's all again. <laughs> but, but um, I think another one. I think Killzone. I think, Horizon, I think Killzone should be just done. I think it is done. I think Horizon Zero Dawn two gets announced though. That'd Not be cool. Not for this console cycle. Yeah. For the next. Oh one. yeah. For, I, I don't think a majority of shit that comes out is either a 
going to be released on this generation and next generation. It, I don't think Why any of the remaining games. Oh Last yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be on both, like, or it's gonna not run gonna be. Ten times better on the four. Absolutely, I think. I think it's too far in now where people obviously are hearing rumors mm -hmm. that any game to get released is going to be playable on well, this and Anthem, all night. Even Anthem, they said there will be a. Ver I mean, I don't know now because Anthem fucking shit. Yeah, it, it, Anthem might be completely done. But they said that. Bioware might be done, which is depressing, and that's EA. So you, that's you know, what? yeah, EA yeah, so and absolutely. I don't feel bad. It sucks, but you know what? I feel bad for everyone losing their job. That, that, I, I, I feel bad. For, yeah, I feel bad for everybody that's because losing that their job. Studio used to be top tier. Yeah, so like in the sense of, I feel bad for all the people losing their job, all the people that really had a passion for creating, because it is a piece of art. Mm -hmm. You're creating a story. You're creating and Anthem art. Been awesome. Oh yeah. And it, it sucks really cool. that, yeah, I it goes to show that in some way, shape, or form, trying to impress people and sales will, is like the worst thing ever. Yeah. Like if you would have just gotten, a, if, if you would have let Bioware do its thing, it could have, it would probably be a I, great team up to Mass Effect. This, games that let developers do their thing, even if the game doesn't, they, oh, come, yeah. out, even if the game doesn't come out the gate. Shh, Firing on all cylinders, like it's it's a great game, but yeah. it doesn't sell super fast because it's not it's a new, right? Think yeah, like God this. of War, example. God of War, it's one of the most selling games ever, and it took its time. Yeah, you know, Days Gone sold more is already sold more than God of War. Damn, wow, that's insane to me. And a lot of that goes to say, hey, Sony has a new exclusive coming out. That's cool. I'm not gonna read the reviews. I'm just gonna go play the game. That's partially due to the fact that Sony pretty much won this generation. A 100, percent and that's like why, even though Nintendo why, is no. well, the second Xbox said you can't share games. Fuck you. Like, I'm yeah. Buy a that's why I did. We're joking. Yes. <laughs> we're, not, yes. <laughs> we're joking. We're not. Actually, the public. Like, we're, 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 yeah, we're going to go yeah, back seriously. and change that shit up. And it also helped because Sony released before the Xbox. Yeah. And, and this I, time, that's what I'm saying. Xbox is going to release before. Well, that's also like the thing where, me personally, I think what it seems like this generation might be giving up to microsoft i think xbox might take the cake on this generation i don't know because one generations will take well, years why, you remember how sony a couple years ago were like we're never doing cross platforms fuck you why would we yeah but bro. now but now that, they're that's, kind of reverting back like oh yeah microsoft and nintendo are doing it yeah so like well hey yeah you yeah want me exactly. to come over and help you yeah that's why i'm like a little like mm, i'm not like i don't like the kiss ass sony but they're doing it on purpose yeah no now they're saying yeah they're okay, like the next fuck console cycle if we don't have that and we're nintendo fucked and are, people are gonna go buy those consoles over ours just like the same then just that's like so how true. yeah Given, i will buy the thing is if they were both to release on the same day what exclusives you got for me? exactly Oh, you have Last of Us, but you don't have Gears of War. Okay, I'm probably gonna play PlayStation first because I want to play Last of Us. I can save up for a couple weeks and then go yeah. buy the Xbox. Honestly, like as much as I want, I want to play and love the shit out of Last of Us Two. If there is, like, say Last of Us Two, but I saw how good Halo's online was, and like, then, yeah, then yeah, I'm, I'm going with the, I'm going with Halo and the Xbox because replayability. I can wait to enjoy the shit out of Last of Us because I'm not rushing well, for no, anything. I'm with you on that. I, I can take my time with that. Yeah, that's really like, what am I going to enjoy the most right out of the gate in the sense of by myself and also hopping on with everybody that's stoked as fuck to have this new console mm -hmm. and this new game. Now, that's Sony, my thing. What's a big prediction you have this year? Um, I don't if, think they're doing anything. If Death, me and you talked about uh, this. Oh, go ahead. What's it called? Um, the Final Fantasy. Oh, seven. seven. Yeah, I forgot. That's a yeah. thing. That's a big one. If oh shit, that could actually come out this year. Yeah. That's January. Well, 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 the, uh, the, the first episode will be coming Oh, out. fuck. They're doing it. Now I don't give okay. a shit. I don't give a fuck now for those episodes. Okay. I'm sorry. What is it? Like 20 bucks an episode? Fuck. Probably. Me. No, see. No. No, no, I remember that because they said there's going to be like five episodes. So you're telling me I'm going to have to pay 20 bucks for each episode. Well, you. it well, depends. They're, they're probably going to do a season. It pass, depends. I'm going to spend $120 on a. the same game I can go play on my Switch. It depends on yeah, how much content is released with, for each $20. For That's why I'm like, it depends on how much content. And if you can justify Twenty. If twenty dollars, yeah. If twenty dollars, if twenty dollars gives you a shit ton of stuff in Final Fantasy, I'm not a Final Fantasy fan. But if I was playing a game and it just like twenty bucks and I get basically half of a full game worth of content, pff, worth it. Yeah, like if it, as long as there's enough content that's worth. 
that episode. Yeah, you have to I'm think. You're right you're spending twenty dollars and you're getting that much good quality and content. You, so do you that think each that time? game is they're going to be their and exclusive for this year? Uh, I yeah. think it's going to be one of them. Or you think I'm really stranded. excited about it because I haven't played all of uh, oh, seven. Yeah. I played yeah. a little bit of it, like on like a uh, so emulator or something. I think my prediction for Sony. Me and you talked about Death Stranding yesterday and what they could probably do. Unless you know what they're going to announce tomorrow for Death Stranding. Uh, I think it's their online. And I think a release date. That's what all the rumors are leading uh, to. So, I... I, I it, it, it probably got to be for sure. Most realistic, for sure. Realistically, I could probably see that. But me and you started... And this, at this point, it's probably pretty far-fetched. But when I thought about it, it me and you would agree that, that would be something he would do. What if tomorrow they just say, oh, the game's released? You know what? And that's another big thing. A lot of Reddit users are saying that. I don't think it is. I don't think so. I but, would but shit now, my pants. But, I would but here, out of work. Oh, but, see, work but, he, but like, here's like the thing and like the reason why we thought it would be such a cool idea is that like it sucks where press gets releases early and they're able to kind of pick it apart. For someone with this good of an imagination – you don't fucking need critics. You so, have people there ready to yeah, buy your so shit. Just thing. release it and let everybody's like, here it this is. Yeah, exclu- Sony exclusive. It's not on Microsoft. I right? believe so. Yeah. So you know what I'm thinking? Because here's the thing: if if it, if, it, if the game had been shipped to GameStop or Walmart, it would have been leaked by now. They could just do online only. Online only next week, everyone. If you want to buy it physical next week, you can buy it. Exactly. So it'd be like I would be cool because it'd give everybody and that's easy, a good fair game playing. Thing. Yeah. Exactly. That's why he like. He like kind of was like, all right, maybe it's not far out because he's like, yeah, it's true. He would do something like that. It, it's it, not gonna happen, but I'm freaking out. It but would be but at the same time, crazy. if you won't hear like, from me for a week, it's, it, out, I, bitches. it's not just the, the fact that he got released; it's the fact of how he got released. Like the well, can you also so much shrouded in mystery. Three, oh yeah, three would be like a couple weeks later. Everyone would still be talking about Death Stranding. Like, what the fuck is this? Especially if it's good. Yeah, and that's why I'm saying like, if you know your game's good and i'm assuming this game's going to be fucking amazing because it's obviously it's, it's, it's done great. by one it's of the be great. best mean, creators I ever mean, and that's my thing every metal gear game that he has had his hands on 10 out of 10 yeah yep. almost 10 out of 10 and it, what's it's, funny is it's, it's just been breakthrough through phantom pain you can see exactly where his hands left the project literally you the can last see, two hours yep, you can you tell can see exactly except the where cut scene, except the last cutscene. But all the mission stuff, you can be like, yeah, he said fuck it, I'm done. Yeah, like, it's it's pretty fucking funny. And that's also, like, again, that goes back to where game and developers let their developers do whatever the fuck they want. Sony said, go do whatever the hell you, you need. You want $100 million? You want, a hun- Wait, you want $200 million to go make some new project? And your other company just let you go? Here you go. Yeah, yeah like, let me physically. write, like, how, what's... Where, what's a check I need to write Which, out to? Like and that's the thing. Sony has done such a good job. This, con- this is their exclusives this year or this whole generation. Oh, they've been, been some of the best. Yeah. Console besides like ever. besides like the few flukes like No Man's Sky and The Order. Yeah. Which they've no been Man's Sky got better and The Order had a great premise. It just wasn't executed. No right. Man's yeah. Sky wasn't an exclusive. Uh, for the first for day, the it, first few months it was. Yeah, oh, okay. it was. A, like it, it did come out everywhere. Eventually. Overall, Sony has had or PlayStation has a good track record for their exclusives this year. So or Microsoft, it was want, a little toss up you, this year. Yeah, it was a little bit of a toss up. I, I don't want to say good or positive. I think they're like, we fucking lost. Why don't we just focus on the future? Honest, yeah, they might have that's just exactly said. That's exactly what their last E3 was. Yeah. that's a move I fucking like. That's some big dick bandicoot <laughs> shit. <laughs> what did you just say? Some big dick bandicoot shit to say. Fuck it, we know we lost. We're going to double down. We're gonna get you guys in the second round. Yeah, that's some big dick bandicoot shit right there. They like for you. That's, for, why, this that's next like I am excited. Could be amazing. That's yeah. why, like, that's why I just Everyone's want. Everyone's trying to flex their shit. That's what is good about these whole things. As much as shit talked i did give e3 i want e3 want the best i just want everybody like oh oh you released that oh you saw how hyped up the crowd was for that see how hyped up the crowd gets for our shit that's what i want i just want yeah. good friendly it's ex- it's gonna be competition exciting. it's gonna be exciting um i hope it's exciting it, 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 we're definitely like <laughs> otherwise we're just week, hyping ourselves well, up for the nothing week after e3 happens i actually think like Honestly, we might do a special podcast where after every announcement comes out, I, we might all just get together, film a podcast, yeah. and then I might just put it up the next day. Yeah. And just do a special installment. Cause, and that podcast will be literally 
only, only E3. E3. Yeah. Because there'll be so, there's always so much talk about E3 that each studio and even like Ubisoft and EA and all this stuff. Yeah. I'm not expecting for them to change I think this I'm year. Request off for you. Any well, it's three <laughs> days. What are you gonna do? Take off three days? Jeez. Oh shit. Yeah. No. I'll just watch on my own time. Uh. Yeah. With that being said, we'll definitely do but a I whole think, podcast. Like, the, and anybody listening, leave your comments, like letting us what know are you what. Excited for, like, what are you excited about? What are, What do you want us I to know this talk is the about? Podcast we've done because my shitting problems and whatnot. But hey, once we once we actually got into this shit, like literally, gotta do this shit. Yeah, like everybody listening that wants and is curious about what we think about, let us know. Yeah. Like, what game do you want now, us to talk about? I have whatever a you want. Things I want to talk about still. Just some mild guesses. Um, obviously, we're getting new modern work. That, that's fucking rumor. It's not yeah, I heard. It's pretty much so dumb. Come on, I, okay. I'm not mad I about heard, it. I'm not here's, mad here, about it. I need to see it though. Okay, I but I, I'm tired of it. Look, here's Modern here's Warfare's my, my favorite one. here's my problem. How long didn't it? Is, I'm sorry. No, you're good. How long did they say that they were going to support Black Ops for? They're still supporting them. Yeah, yeah I know, still, but for how? Because Treyarch's a little bit different though. They'll support their game. Till oh, that's next true. Year. That is true. Black Ops Three got supported all the way up until Yeah, up until four. So that's yeah, there's a big difference, like. Treyarch is the best Call of Duty studio. I would that agree. Is, like they take the most time. I I would even say Infinity War is a good studio. Activision is horrible publishers. They are horrible and they rush them. And I was telling him, yeah. I don't know if I told you, they canceled Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer isn't making a Call of Duty anymore. Yeah, I so, saw it. Was, it's um, Raven coming out next year. Raven is doing the campaign. Oh yeah, so because they finished half the campaign. They hated everything about it. So Raven's going to come in and fix well, it. Well, I heard... And Treyarch's doing everything else. I heard that Sledgehammer and Raven were just butting heads and they just couldn't fucking make it work. So they said, fuck it. Treyarch, you guys are taking this one now. Which that sucks. Now Treyarch has to... Fuck. We have to make zombies and online well, not, super fast. Well, it's... I mean, like, and that it, also fucks their plans because think about it. They probably had more st- stuff planned for Black Ops 4. Yeah, but probably. that's that's why I'm saying... I will say Black Ops 4 probably has the most content I've ever seen. I'm curious. I might yeah. not have my attention anymore. That's just because I've played Black Ops. I, I play oh, every now and then. I will, as much as I hate Activision and Black Ops, I will give them this. They have supported the shit. Out of the, there's so much shit you can do. It's Im- almost impossible Black for Ops you to get. Black Ops awesome. With all the, every zombie map. Well, zom- well Black Ops 4. everything. Yeah. Well, zombie, or Black Ops 4, like... Activision does make sure like you guys stay in ga- like their players bases engaged. Like, like there's I, always I something said, for you guys to do. Battle Royale mode, they're doing a really good job to fix that thing up. Yo, yeah, there's Ike, Battle Royale on the COD. I think it's all right. Battle Royale. It's all right. It's I'm pretty all right. I know you haven't been a big fan of it, but I I I, like I played how much I, I, I played yeah. I like when like actual like good shit is happening for the players uh benefit. The microtransactions so, are a different story. Modern Warfare do you know what I want from this? I want basic COD back. I, I want basic fucking Call of Duty back. If you, That's all I want from this Modern Warfare. If you announce that, I will buy it first day because I want that. I don't want oh, a spaceship flying in for your airdrop 360 do you know, fucking do you know what I want? seven kill streak. I would love to literally have it what the name says. Literally have it be like 2021. 20, like make it like back where Modern Warfare was, where everything seemed like legit. Modern Not, Warfare 2020. Yeah. Modern Warfare or, 20, that'd be a cool title. I'd get some titles. At, name it Modern Warfare 2020 set or and release it 2020. Mm-hmm. That would be a cool marketing thing, but year, it's coming this so year. It's coming this year. It's called 2019, whatever. Uh, but, so that's another game just, that's actually uh, supposed to be coming to this E3 is uh, Square Enix's Avengers game. Which, that's supposed that to was be announced cool. five years ago. Yeah. With a it's fucking, been a fucking minute. So that game, that's coming out this year. I think that would be. You think it is? Yeah. You capitalize after end game. You're fucking stupid if you don't. And I think that was actually their choice. I think they were like, and another prediction going to that, that game will tie into the Spider-Man game. I believe that. I hope so. I think a lot of the studios are all working together to do different games in this universe. Maybe. I don't, I don't think they're going to completely combine, but I think they will combine and have their own little universe. Because there's rumored that someone's developing a Guardians of the Galaxy open world game. That would be fucking and I, amazing. I don't remember what studio it was. I'm, I don't remember because what it's Square Enix is doing the Avengers. Yep. Um, I, I don't. I, I don't remember the the guys who did Sunset Overdrive and Ratchet and Clank have Spider Man. I, I think it was um, I don't remember. It was a big open world studio though that was doing Guardians of the Galaxy. That's cool. But so I'm really excited about the game. I need to see the gameplay though. Yeah, that, that's absolutely. Probably, if it's not absolutely. a Marvel Ultimate Alliance, I'm already getting that. I have, I have a I lot of that. faith in Square Enix to put out a good too. game. 
their story not so much, but I think because it's an Avengers title, it's easy to make I think a it's good gonna, one. There's I think enough it's gonna content play like, there. I think it's going to play like God of War and uh, Tomb Raider. That would be so fantastic. That's why, that's why I think they're going to play it off. But, um, so Modern Warfare, I will also say I think Modern Warfare 2 is getting remastered. I think it is getting remastered, and I think that's how they're going to do it. Or this is just pretty much a remaster, and a lot of the maps are going to be Modern Warfare 2. I would not mind if it was like Modern Warfare 4. They that's, never made it, a fourth one, this right? This is technically four, but that's what I'm, well, that's what I'm talking about in the sense of like it's a continuation of where the third one left. Will be a four. Probably, most likely. If they don't, it's an opportunity missed. And it will just still be called Modern Warfare, but yeah, I think you'll just have the four in there. I like I I'm again I understand I agree with you. I'm tired of like crazy ship flying overhead, crazy as powers, blah blah blah. Just give me like a grounded boots on the ground Call of Duty. Not where I can't, like, jump boots on the ground. Like, legitly, like, modern warfare. Mm -hmm. Shooting real bullets. No plasma cannons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I kind of um, got tired of it. Um, okay, I have two other things that I think might happen. I think we're getting a new Bioshock. I predict it you every think year. so? But I think there has been too many rumors about a new Bioshock in development that I think we're getting it. We still won't see Dead Island 2. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that no, game's no, no, done. No, no. And I think Cyberpunk gets a release date. Yeah, yeah, and I, sure. I think, I think, I'm predicting it's not this year. I think next year with the next consoles. Potentially, I think so. I think in December, if it does come out this year, December, right around the holidays. It'd be smart. Everyone's going on vacation. People are having time off. It'd be smart. Sales would boost up. Well, Black Friday. I mean, it's a holiday season. Well, it's a I mean. It's a known. They're, they're really market. gonna push Cyberpunk. Like, yeah. This, this. I mean, Witcher. It's been. They've they, been making this game for like or, nine years. Or years. honestly, I know a really good time. Or what What time do you think they would release it? Christmas. See, I don't think Christmas. I honestly think like the – because it's not for everybody game. These have came out and said this is a game meant for adults. This is well, mature it's, audience. And but that's I, what I'm saying. A lot of adults have holiday yeah. time off. No, so December. what me – because I've what if they thinking about it. What if it's that day they're like it's for sale right now? I would shit my pants. Anybody I think. Who does that fucking cojones a steal, I think. Bro. No one's ever done that. I think PT was the closest thing where they're like, you can play the demo right now. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say if they're gonna give a Apex release date, it of. might. Yeah. It might be probably around November. November is like a golden shot where usually a lot of stuff doesn't mm -hmm. come out. Um, a it's lot of stuff October's comes. Yeah. Exactly. October is really the head. Yeah. Of it's like. Which Call of Duty, last year, like Battlefield, Call of Duty, like back like everything. Back, and I, I was like, that's why Battlefield. I got overload. Yeah. Yeah. Well, besides a few, the year be, where be, it was Titanfall two, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and yeah. one other. What shooter. sucks is Titanfall was good. <laughs> Titanfall two was the best. It's just shooter bad year. timing. It was yeah. so it was good. Too small though. of a studio. Oh, and then we have Star Wars coming out in November this year too. Fallen Order. We'll probably see some gameplay action. Oh right, 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 right. Yeah. Uh, I want. Yeah, I. I want, if it gets release date, I'm shooting for hopefully November. I think that's like a solid date. I think we're getting a remaster of Knights of the Republic. Any Star Wars games getting announced? I Cause don't give a I don't a think a remaster. No, no, no. Dude. EA, I think EA has gone after this. I know. That's it's why I'm... Consistent. Well, that's why I don't... But if EA... Their license, they, they still have... EA down. still has a license. <laughs> the only Star Wars game that's going to be... I'm assuming, granted I could be wrong... It's just going to be the one that they have announced because mm -hmm. that's the only one I well, feel like they can really risk well, right now. Well, actually, take that back. LucasArts probably can't say anything until that comes Exactly. Out. They still have those rights. Yeah. The only thing mm -hmm. that's going to be is going to be the one that we have. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, what game would I like to see? <sighs> that's a whole podcast yeah, in yeah, itself. Okay. Okay. Not to mention how pissed yeah. off I am about 1313. Yeah. Seriously. So with you. What are two big things you really want to see at this? I really want to see like from any studio or like any of that. Again, back to that X Cloud. I yeah. need to know what's going on. I need to know. Can I'm I talking play? about games, I... but I'm talking about games. Oh, Just games? straight games. Straight like, games. Like I want like what game are you like hoping they announce? They show. Like I said, I want new IP. I want new fucking IP. I want... And I want some new old stuff to come back. But I really, again, I have not been blown away in a while, and that's why I'm so excited about Cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I, like I, I don't, I don't know what to Cyberpunk expect. VR. Just because everyone's I, kind of every everything's kind of chaotic right now. You know, everything's yeah. tossed up. So I don't know what to expect. There's aside from like the stuff that's already gotten announced. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I really just want to see Cyberpunk. I want it to be like 
jaw dropping, like something games crazy. Cool. Some indie new cool games, indie yeah. games. Yeah. yeah. Xbox has always been pretty good about presenting their new, like, their. Same with Nintendo. Nintendo's really good about it, too. Yeah. But Nintendo, or, but Microsoft has always been an advocate for their indies. Like, they've always. Yeah, they've, they've always been, been pushing them. I'll tell you what, I've I played some cool indie games. Cuphead on. was an indie. People forget about that. Cuphead oh. is probably one of the best. Well, I believe Alan Wake was, too. Which one? Was it Alan Wake? Was um, it not? I believe it might be. Kind of. It, it's in the middle. Oh. Like, it uh, was at first, but then Microsoft gave them the funding to make the game. Limbo? Limbo's really good. Yeah. Limbo was a great, and it's just a two-dimension, well, pretty much, platform, Sony, sure. At first, a lot of the Resogun, remember that game? Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, that was indie. Yeah. That was really good. That was a really good independent game. To Ooh, say that Sony... put that on Switch? To say that yeah. Sony didn't would be a lie. It just seems like... Microsoft really was advocate. Like they had a whole like they had a again, whole section of the store. Yeah, right? yeah, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Sony did too, but they didn't do nearly of a good job no, as and Microsoft that's actually, did. Okay, like, I, and I that think counts for something. The Sony interface is better than Xbox. I Their do. Their store interface though for Xbox ten times better than yep. Sony. Yep. I can't find anything on that Sony interface. Like I want to go find my free games. I hate okay, it. Let me go scroll through like it's three different sections. It's annoying. I just say like the normal interface when your games pop up ten times better. It's See, very cluttered on the Microsoft. See, I kind of like... Eh, I, I kind of like I, it because it's, it's just specific. It's exactly what I need. Um, I, I just... Blocks, games. Yeah, I... I, I pers- like the Sony because I just flipped it. Oh, okay, that see, game, for that me, game, that game, that game, that game. I like the layout personally better for the Xbox on PlayStation so, because... Cool. Because you see it, it always starts up immediately, which is the great thing that they did with... I Honestly, the smartest thing Xbox had done was merge Windows with Xbox and have that mm-hmm. interface... Because if you are on Windows, you're used to it. You see the design, games right there, and then you have all these other little like messages of the day things. Yeah. I like that small information. Mm-hmm. Start totally my game. Agree. All right. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Ether? I know there's a lot more, but we got to get to the viewer question because I'm pretty sure we're like three hours into this. Oh boy. This is like a three-hour podcast. I'm pretty sure. I might be completely wrong. Yeah. Well, well mine is the two twenty shits. The two twenty shits, but those weren't that long. I, I timed that shit. It was yeah. like only five minutes. Each. Oh. Well, well, and we also don't want yeah, but viewers I mean, to be like, I'm tired of this. Well, yeah, no, <laughs> like, but this has been a great discussion. Yeah, and I hope people enjoyed it. And I, I, I really enjoyed it. Fuck, they enjoyed it. <laughs> like, honestly, but I, I think this is a great discussion, and we are definitely doing a part two. And the next one, we're only talking E3. We're only talking E3. It's we'll, almost here. Unless it's we take here. breaks next week, E3 won't be here next week. No, um, there'll be news next week. We'll yeah. Well, I'm sure there will we be. Have, like, Shit well, always I, I happens. Showed, I showed him. We have a bunch of topics. Oh, yeah. Like, I have so many topics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I could literally, like, if I don't have news for a week, I'm just going to put one of those out. Like, <laughs> Cards Against Humanity, us playing it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which, by the way, yeah. So if you guys want to see us, including one more other person, George, play yeah, Cards Against Humanity, it. just bring off stream. funny yeah, ass we'll sentences. Where it's like zombie apocalypse. Let us know. Ooh. Us surviving, like, alien, like, different situations that we would have to, like, live in. And just like telling stories, or like there's a game I saw that I've never seen a podcast do that I think would be fun is that like someone starts a story, then the next person, and it's just totally random. We're just telling a story that for would an be... hour, and we're just going around it, and it's just trying to figure out where we're going to. Okay. Um, so it's cool like that, but again, anything else you guys want to talk about E3? Uh, lots of viewer yeah. questions. Little, viewer question. Okay, so let's I have a couple, but the main one that I knew we were going to have to think about is what comic and movie or show or video game did you stop investing in? Not because it was bad necessarily, but just you felt like it was over. You okay. felt like it should have ended. I'm going to start Assassin's Creed. I have not finished Assassin's Creed <laughs> in years. I've bought, I I get them when they're cheap. You know or, like My parents get me them as gifts because they, they like them. But for me, I just I, I still I still say this. The newest one is really fun. I just haven't play, played it. Another one is, and it's surprising because I'm really excited about the, the new one, Halo. I, Halo 5 lost all interest to me in playing another one, but 6 could change I felt, I felt obligated to finish that one. I felt very obligated. It took me a year and a half to beat that game. And then South Park is another one. I love the show, but I just... I yeah. Too many episodes. And um, actually, another one is Flash. I, 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 I yeah, cannot watch yeah. the Flash. Any of those I love Grand superhero Gustin. shows, I just can't watch them. I anymore. love Grand I just Gustin got Flash. so bored of them. Oh, and Jessica Jones. I gave up on that fucking show. I will not be watching seasons. I, sorry. I'm gonna be watching it. I hope. I gotta. I I feel obligated to finish that. Yeah. What about you? I've got. Uh, there was a DC Watchmen crossover comic for a minute oh, there. That was so good. The button. I have it, and I just haven't read it yet. I'm very disappointed in myself. I'm actually probably gonna finish that today. Actually. Um, Payday two. I felt like that just needed to end. Uh, 
there, there, there's like they even like wrapped it up entirely with a story, but I mean, I played the hell out of it. I probably seriously have like a month and a half of in-game time. Like Jesus, that. like those Christ. I put payday two. Oh I put in goodness. some serious time into those heist and uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I I played like half of it and I just haven't finished it. You could probably it yet. beat it. It was a. It's really short. It probably. it was a good game, but I can understand why you got sick of it. Well, it, it's not even that I got sick of it. I just. I don't know. I like it, it, lost it, it, interest. Yeah. There's there's other stuff yeah. to play. It came out at a bad time. Honestly, yeah. it came in between a lot. What about you? What games? Do you uh, play, or shows or movies? Call of Duty. Yeah. It might change again. Like I said, I'll eat my words yeah. if Modern Warfare for whatever the next one comes out and it looks good. I don't plan on buying it, but then again, like it always gets me. Who knows? I'm kind of just Infinity like Infinity War. I bought it and I thought it was really good. Thought it was a little underrated. Infinity Warfare or whatever. Oh yeah, I bought, yeah, I actually like that one. There's some neat things, but like I wouldn't say I just like gave it hope up and like I stopped supporting it. But like as of right now, like I'm not really playing four, and I've already kind of talked about how much I don't really like Activision and COD, uh, Simpsons, and Fast and the Furious. I've been. I, wa- I lost Fast and Furious. I have. But I do think it should end. I have <laughs> no idea how many movies are out now. For Fast? I, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you this. They're doing two more. Oh my God. I don't even know how many that is after that. that that'll, that'll be 10. What? Including the spinoff ones? Spinoff's different. I, Dwayne Johnson's. So 12. Different. So those characters in the spinoffs are never coming back. So, so like, Tok- does Tokyo Drift count as one? Yeah, that's three. So that's 12 movies they've done. Yeah. And I, think they've I love got, Tokyo I think Drift. I think they've gotten better. I think they've gotten better. Oh my I God. Don't, I don't know <laughs> I, I think it's a cool classic. I think, I think so, so I too. Think someone in this group it. though was gonna put Fast and Furious. I honestly, the last one was my favorite. I'm surprised. Which one was that? Eight. I'm Fast not surprised. Eight. Is that the one where they take Dom's kid? Yeah. Uh, Only I because I put it down. It. Yeah, my thing is, great. my thing is, if I fall asleep through a movie, it's not good enough to hold my interest awake. Yeah. Like I'm just like, like how many? Like oh, I. Like, it. It's like fucking up with the original formula. Like don't mess with the Kool Aid if it's good. Yeah. Like the first three, Grand V sides, like no, one of them. I would say, I'd say the I really fast, like the them. best made Fast and Furious is five. The best made one is five. But that's not the original fu- or Kool Aid formula. The it's original, not the Kool-Aid formula, the the, Kool-Aid the formula thing, was them just street racing because they like street racing. Some because each one makes more money now. Hey, so the keep on making it. Would rather watch Dom punch the shit out of someone than him racing down a car. Yeah, or but how? Family. <laughs> family. But how? <laughs> But how many? <laughs> Jeez. But how many? <laughs> how many people from the original? How many people from the ri- good, like? Good. Like think about good. it. Put, put in some real effort. Try your Vin Diesel. I'm not. No, I'm sure. good. I'm good. No. I'm not a master like you. How many people from the original like series are still like watching? I don't. I don't. Me personally, I feel like there's probably not a lot of people I watching. I. I Curtis I watch is all the demographic. Them. So and he's true. Still you know watching. what? I'll eat my words on that because Curtis is still watching, and Curtis is yeah. Redneck. Well, if Curtis still watches it, it must mean something because that dude is a full on car. Like I'm gonna, nut. I'm gonna see that Hobbs and Shaw. Same. No it looks what. awesome. But that like, last just trailer like... showed the whole fucking movie. Yeah, I'm very pissed see, off and that's about like it. the thing. Why are you gonna go see it if you? I'm, I'm not gonna go see it. I'm gonna wait till it hits Netflix. Fucking two weeks oh, after shit. it's in theaters. Hey, uh, I'm not. That's all. That's my thing. I'm not spending money to go see it. Mm-hmm. Like that's like where I determine. Like I'm not gonna support it. Yeah. No. 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 Um. So, but the next one, next question is from Colin. Colin. What's your favorite Disney ride. Favorite Splash Disney ride? Mountain. Mine's a Pirates of the Caribbean. It's gotta be. Or Toy Story Mania because I just fucking love Toy Story. What's the fucking mountain called? Oh, Thunder Mountain? No, not uh, Yeti. Matterhorn. The Yeti. Matterhorn. The one go. in Florida or the one in California? I haven't been to the one in Florida. Oh, dude, that one's fucking. Insane. I want to. Yeah. See, I want to go. That one's pretty neat. That one's crazy. Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, Pirates is, or Toy Story Mania are probably mine. Uh, Splash you remember fucking great. George fell asleep through the entire Pirates ride? I. They were all falling asleep. You and me stayed the first day there all day. I was so tired. Yeah, like you guys are a bunch of pussies. No, yeah. You were fucking tired. We walked home and that sucked. We should have just called an Uber. Well, okay, so our dumbasses were walking past the tram, and I don't remember what it said, but it said something like it wasn't, like, it made us think that it wasn't going back to the way we needed to, so we're like, oh, fuck, that sucks, so we kept walking, we got halfway back to the apartment, 
or to the um, hotel. hotel. The fucking tram passes us with a load oh! of people. Like, God fucking damn it. We were so pissed. It was not bad. We had it experience. wasn't terrible, but... Look, all I'm saying I is... Home. I want to sleep. Let's do that trip again soon. Yeah, I'm 100% a hundred percent of Star Wars land, dude. I think I'm not. No, 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 no that's no, right. No, no, no. I'm not saying this year. I'm not saying this year. I'm not saying this year. I'm saying uh, next year we go. Because by then, the the Marvel land will open. And everyone will go over there. Oh, hey. We'll go to Star Wars land. Yeah, but let's be real here. It's always gonna be busy. It, yeah, has Star Wars land has has it gone down? I guess. The last time I was there, I walked right onto that. Really? Right okay, I, I take my, be- I mean, my words back on that. The thing. But still then again, busy, yeah. But it wasn't a four hour wait. Oh, for sure, but still. And but even, that's not saying. Know, do you want to know a fun fact about Disneyland California Adventures? They have more rides in those two parks combined than any other Disney park in the world. Wow. Even more than Walt Disney World. Damn. That's crazy. So. I mean, it's crazy because if people don't know, yeah. Disney World is five different yeah. parks. Real fast, I'm super excited for that Marvel Land because they, they released a blueprint for the Spider-Man ride, and it looks insane. Where? It, it's, so it's rumored to be a roller coaster, but it swings at the same time. So it's going to give you the element that you're swinging like him. Oh, my God. That's their goal. Wow. That's really unique. That's pretty neat. Because they have one ride in Paris that you're crush on his back, oh, and yeah. it's spinning. Oh. As it's a roller coaster, so it looks like you're in the the whole thing from Finding Nemo. Huh. So there's a lot of cool things that they're doing. Um, Jacob Martin, another big viewer of us, I watch this every episode. With the release of Rocketman, what are artists that you think would make amazing musical biopic? Oh, oh that's a good question. Um, I'm sorry, I want a Nirvana one. I would love a fucking Nirvana. Fuck. One. Or I, I, I would. Love the thing, the thing with Nirvana is that it would make. St- Stupid amounts of money. It would because everybody and, knows Nirvana, and I would Kurt love Cobain. A one, but I think Foo Fight, I think you could easily. It would. I would rather want. Nirvana. It would just. I would rather want Nirvana. Yeah, I, as much as I would love Nirvana, it would just be a. It would kill. Uh, I wouldn't say it would kill, but it would open up a lot of people's eyes mm-hmm. to. Oh, yeah. like I love Nirvana, and then see what kind of person Kurt mm-hmm. was yeah. actually, and sorry people, but those fucking glasses you guys are wearing because you want to look like Kurt Cobain. Not a good look. <laughs> I think Lincoln Park would be great, especially Chester. Oh Park. my I goodness! Think the lead up to that, Woo. Be, and I mean, they don't have to show it. It's kind of how like American Sniper didn't show Chris Kyle dying in it. Yeah, it kind of just, just led up to it. Yeah, it was very respectful. Oh yeah, I think Lincoln Park would be an awesome one. Absolutely. Yeah, but did they release like the main? Like obviously he killed, like he committed suicide. Was there like any it's like? Not re- See, um, like but, that's my biggest. But like, again, that's where you can kind of go around that. I just yeah. think the lead up of how Lincoln Park. Grew Oh yeah, it would be excellent. I think or just a, any mu- any big artist, there's a story to be told there. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. Like especially after seeing Rocket Man, I did not know that he did not write his own. Songs. Yeah, there's like a, yeah. I, I didn't know that too, that. and that's insane to me. He did not write his own songs. Yeah, so like even like artists that I love, like mm-hmm. I love Elton John. I didn't know that about Elton John. Mm-hmm. It'd be it's cool. It would be cool to see if they made. Bob Marley like, would be another good one. Bob, Bob Marley is already like he Have is. Have they ever actually had a biopic about him? Maybe I don't know, but Bob Marley's too much of a public icon to really like make it make it seem interesting. Like Lincoln Park, like you have to do someone where like not everybody knows Elton John. I feel yeah. like it's I don't know. I I feel like you have to do it perfectly. Like I feel like a Lincoln Park would be perfect because yeah. like that was early two thousands like mm-hmm. mainstream. And I don't think a lot like, of people hip- know like that band. In per- like they know them. They yeah, don't know their story. And, and they also yeah. had like a cool dynamic of. Um, Rap and rock, which was never you really talked about. In there too, they did yeah, them. they well, they did that whole uh, collision, collision course. course album was yeah, so goddamn. Uh, good. I would love, like, actually, the number to answer that question, the number one movie I would love to see done over Outcast. Yes. Oh my god, what a yes. brilliant idea! Holy shit! That would be you awesome. see Big Boy with like the hip hop side, the rap side, and then Andre Three Thousand with the like funk oh r&b funk oh and, and them just like making the studio you know, making at aliens oh you my goodness one, no fucking like, way um i don't know how you guys would feel about it i would really like to see fergie like from <laughs> her perspective i'm just saying because it goes through the black eyed peas to her solo albums to her now there's a lot there yeah, yeah. justin timberlake's another good one justin timberlake would be that's cool down the road when he's older because if you get it now you could just get him yeah you could just yeah you, and, I, and not I only that, that. But the only way these movies can work is if the like they've passed yeah, their time in the spotlight. Rolling Stones, yeah. Rolling Stones, Rolling Stones would be crazy. Rolling Stones would be awesome, especially. 
they were around during the Vietnam War, right? Yes. Because they have painted black. Yeah, yeah, that would be really cool to see that. Mm-hmm. What about you? That'd be neat. Any big artists? I think Ro- I I think I was thinking about this a while back, and I think Rolling Stones was like the top tier for me, just mm-hmm. because it was of such a different. Have they done a Metallica one? I want to see what. It There's is. a lot of documentaries. Metallica would be really cool though too. Yeah, was but it, I mean, I mean if they if they did Metallica, though, have they already do you done? Know what like... I want I want it to be like how they did Rockman because Rockman Man's a musical musical biopic but they use oh. the songs to tell the story metallica yeah. could you imagine the oh my visuals you could yeah like i would want it to be like fantastical it'd be insane tenacious d jesus, jesus christ god. yeah um be insane but that that's an awesome question yeah. that that is a great yeah, question was, and that, was that from J- jacob martin oh i thought it was from colin colin gave us the disney right which yeah was, what, that was a good one um uh should they introduce spider verse with the oh, no, no 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 fuck that sorry <laughs> sorry charlie uh, Mar Marin Bobic, what movie character do you most identify with, and which and which character is your role model? Wait, one more time. Which movie character do you most identify with? Like right off the bat, like first one to pop into your head. Um, it could be a couple. Like I have three. Um, Deadpool, uh, fucking Wolf of Wall Street himself, just like that dedication Jordan he puts. Jordan Belfort, and then the last one's Andy from Toy Story, because that was me as a kid. And then which character is my role model? I, I don't want to say Jordan Belfort, <laughs> but. I don't know if I have a character that's a role model to me. That's a hard question. I never yeah. thought about that. You guys have anyone? Um, Dr. Manhattan for you? <laughs> yeah. Act- uh, somewhat close. Um, James Bond. Ah, I see. I like his... Um, like, he's... Oh, I really he, he's like a... Uti- like, I like Eggsy from Kingsman. I, I love uh, James Bond. Like, he just... He knows how to do the salsa. He also knows how to snap people's necks he also knows how to do this he's also fluent in like x amount of different languages. they're like this certain coolness like i wish like i want to say every guy wished he could be james bond mm-hmm. who doesn't want to be a good looking dude in like no, a I suit and he wear it like it's nothing he like it's a it t-shirt exactly he's just like he's a cool fucking dude yeah. what about you got anyone or no uh it's it was well it was a comic book then a movie uh scott pilgrim yeah. Oh, like hey! A, oh, that's a good one. I like it. It's just kind of a weirdo. You got Evil to fight? Yeah. I got seven of them. That's such a good fucking movie. No, I like Literally it. I like favorites. it. Um, so the last viewer question I'm going to take for this one, I'm going to kind of tinker it because it's, he's asked if we're excited for Godzilla. Obviously, we're excited for Godzilla. He also kind of asked who would win. If, who's wait, 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 wait. Godzilla or the other monsters? Hey. I'm, I'm going to tinker that question a bit. Hang on. Am I excited for Godzilla? God, excited? Would be an understatement. I I personally liked the first one. I liked it. I, I thought talked, it was a little underwhelming. Yeah, I thought it was underwhelming. Um, I think it was a good setup. What, oh, it was a, good I, setup, it was a great I setup. Just, the shots are incredible. Are stupid. The cinematography is stupid. Kong Scott Island had an incredible setup. Yeah. yeah that, so I love that's, that one. So that's why I'm that like... doing the Metal Gear Solid movie. Oh, that's to right, answer your yeah. question properly ecstatic about this new one i just want to see godzilla rip shit apart yeah you i'm sure you're excited absolutely anytime i think of godzilla i have this vivid memory of the, that gamecube game yeah where you would be godzilla and uh and other you could monsters be, like all the shit out of the from city war for the monsters for the playstation 2 with all the monsters fighting yep. yeah, yeah that was the shit. it's on the playstation 4 i just bought it jesus christ it was a retro game on jesus. i had this it was 10 bucks oh might like, as well fucking, why not why not so this question i'm gonna pose to you if you could have godzilla fight any monster or any big thing, what would you want in the fight? I have mine. I mean, it's already going to be... Uh, Whoa. Godzilla versus Songbird. Just a little bit of a bigger Songbird. Yeah, I was going to say Godzilla just... Yeah. Yank. But I think that would be a good fight. He's all made out of cloth, too, and leather. He just light oh, up. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. He just burns him with fire. Yeah, he yeah. flies. <laughs> Galactus. It's, you got you to be, you gotta be realistic okay. here now. Um, I'd like to see him fight... The Kraken. The Kraken. That's Whoa. I like that. From like Pirates of the Caribbean. Could you imagine shit. him breathing fire underwater if he could do that? Be fucking amazing. Pretty sure he probably could. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's had. Probably, I've maybe. always wanted Pacific Rim mixed with Godzilla. That would have been. That's what, did it, what, what was my text to you? It's this like, is the Godzilla that Pacific Rim wanted to be, but didn't have the robot metal balls to pull it no. off. Or some shit like that. Oh, no. What did I say? What did I say in that text? Because that's basically what like Pacific Rim I felt like wanted to be. Somewhat of a Godzilla, except humans, yeah, instead of I'm using being, Godzilla. Uh, big flop. The second one was uh, du- Kaka Beans. Straight oh. Kaka Beans. Oh, yeah. Which one? Pacific Rim. Oh, the second one? Yeah, yeah the thing what, was, that, that was my least favorite film of last year. That movie was Kaka It looks so bro. cool. 
it started on the cool. trailer it looks and then it, so cool it's like okay no robots for 30 minutes yeah, yeah that's pretty, exactly yeah. what i wanted zero robots for 30 minutes i, I didn't come a woman i didn't come to the movie and spend this one Oh, for my 18th birthday, yeah. Oh, jeez. Stop. Okay, that's where we're going to end the Good Boys episode. Uh, thank you so much, Carlos, for joining oh, us. That was a good where stretch. Where can we find you out again? Uh, still on Twitter, Offensive Doc. Um, always on those Pay Money Webby streams, twitch.tv slash Pay Money Webby. Always got to plug the boy. All right. You got to get on Twitch yourself. Yeah, it's a work in progress. It's a work, it's a work in, in progress. progress. Work I'll in let progress. you guys know. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll let you guys know there. Cool, cool, cool. And they can never find Tyler on social media because he's not I, on I there. mean, you can. If you just want to say hi, just go over to my Instagram. Again, no one has sent a browser account. I'm actually really disappointed. <laughs> no one's going to send. The moment that someone sends an actual browser account, I'll be really surprised. Send it to George so he can tell us because he deserves it the most. He's going to use the most out of it. Yeah, probably. If you guys, if anybody sends a browser's account, I will send something out. I don't know what. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But I will say, like, if you guys actually send a browser's account to anybody. Here's my thing. If you, if you if, send, if you will get something for in return. four browser's accounts. Just a dollar. Just for <laughs> one month. Just for one month. Just for one month. And you send it to me, Tyler, Carlos, and George. I will send you my copy of Rage 2. <laughs> Even though I shit on the game, that's a free copy. But you never have to pay for that game, and you can have at least ten hours of fun. And I'll that's have a good and I'll have a whole month of fun on browser. <laughs> but that's where we're gonna end this episode, guys. You guys can find me on this YouTube YouTube channel at Zach Pope Reviews. You guys can also find me on Twitter at Pope the King. Make sure to go follow Sandwich on Films on Facebook and Twitter. I gotta plug them too for these mics and just in general everything they do for us. Yeah, just go uh, check it out. Yeah, go check it out. You guys want to see films early? Fuck it, that's where you go. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. Thank you for dealing with my shit issues, everyone. <laughs> and of course, hopefully next week, I don't shit my pants. <laughs> hopefully Later. not. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so, stay classy. <laughs>